Hello Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are joining me for more Poker Walker Challenge Live. Um, I'm actually a lot earlier than I originally planned on um, doing for this, but that works out because here we are. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, just inventory checkup on exactly where we're at at the moment, and um, I think I have a little bit of work to do in the box here. Uh, before we actually get started and uh, filming some more episodes today, so I've been doing a lot of walking from the last stream and now, as you can kind of tell now, uh, like how long it actually takes or what I'm able to get done between these times. There's a random Zubat who joined my party in here. Cats, welcome to the stream. Hey, I am okay. How are you? I am very happy to be off today on this weekend. My schedule for work is very erratic, so. That's why my scheduling for uh, uh, streaming is very erratic, and that, that's a bummer. But later today, uh, assuming all goes well, I mean, we got a thunderstorm out right now. Hopefully the stream doesn't suddenly go down. Um, I'm hoping after um, Baby gets up from her nap, we're going to go to the aquarium, and that'll be fun. Obviously, this random level 8 Zubat is not on my team. Um, he belongs in the Dim Cave, I believe. Uh, wait, really? Oh, so I don't have anybody from the Dim Cave, so... Box 6 will be my dim cave, I guess. Um, I'll just have to name that in a moment. Winner's Path, I've got some more stuff that I never intended on getting. Um, so when I randomly walk, um, I tend to prefer, if I know I'm not going to walk, like, over 8,000 steps, I'll go to the dim cave. Because the items that you randomly get at the dim cave are pretty good. There's a lot of healing items and things like that. You just randomly get them. And I'm really there just to level up the Pokemon anyway, so it's cool. It works out. And then when I know I'm going to go over 8,000 steps, say I'm going to work, and I'll get like 12,000 in a day or something like that, then I will um, intentionally go back to the Winner's Path. And in the Winner's Path, I can find, I mean, sure, Bronzors, they're holding some stuff, so I'll grab them when I can. Um, and Beldum, also holding some stuff, if, you know, if I can catch them. But really, I'm trying to get the Munchlax. And um, the more Munchlax I can get, the more leftovers I get. And that's just like a great item to give anybody, so I'm trying to get as many leftovers as I can. Um, I'm finally got a shiny Azuril in white, too, after 52 encounters? Hold on. How do you even get a zoo? Is it, like, wild in the grass? Because you're saying encounters. Wow! Because that's an 8192 game, unless you've got a shiny charm, but even still, the shiny charm in that game is, like, just, like, three times 8192, so it's, like, it's still, it's, like, hatching odds for the, the same game. It's like, it's still bad. So congratulations, that's awesome. Do you want to keep it as a Zuril or you want to turn it into the big, uh, um, the big yellow boy? If it was a boy. Oh yeah, that's right. It could change genders when it evolves. <laughs> they do that. Uh, we're gonna move to, hopefully there's room in the Winner's Path box. Shoot, I would have to make a second Winner's Path box. That stinks. Um, so maybe if I, I don't think you can rearrange boxes. I don't think you can. Um, oh, great. And I want to... You know what, here. What if I just did this? Move the entire town outskirts over here. I'll just remember that, um... What's his name? Uh, Zubat does not belong there. Uh, so this is now Winter's Path 2. Team is where we were to drop this guy in Winter's Path 2. No shiny charm. That's... That's stupid fast. That is, was it, was that your target then? Holy crap, that is stupid fast. That's amazing. Um, Yellow Forest, Blue Lake, Winner's Path 1, and we're now gonna have to rearrange the name. How do I do this here? Uh, change button, no, 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 name, my bad. Uh, yep, Town Out, I'll have to name the next one. So this one's gonna be, when, uh, maybe I'll just start typing it now so I have room for the letters. Wind path two. Oh shoot, the numbers were right there. All right. Uh, it's male, and he's going on my team with my shiny Tepig. Oh, so you're oh nice, you even hunted a Tepig. So you're actually just making like a, sh a shiny team for the game. That's like the most fun way to play sometimes. It's like we're really dedicated on your team, and like anything can join your party. DK Renegade, welcome to the stream. Uh, long time no see. Yes, I'm. I'm sorry. It's my my scheduling um, for streams is just so messy lately. It's just because it's all based on whatever my random work schedule tells me that I have to do that day. Uh, let's change the box. Go to box six, which we now know is our new town out. 
town outskirts, basically. But that's just what I have to call it to shorthand everything. Beauty. There we go. <clears throat> so, um, I was hunting for a shiny Mary. Yeah, that's, that's, uh... So, oh yeah, I think I remember where you're at. It's been such a long time. Um, oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Are, are you in the... You could be in the White Forest if you're in white, too. I think you can find both in the White Forest, but I was thinking early game. Um, I know there's a place where you get, like, Magbees and, uh, I think Mary and Growlithe and some of those are early on. Growlithe wouldn't help you much if you already got a shiny Tepig on your team, though. <clears throat> All right, so with this finished, we can now take a look at all of these that we have in here. So how many Munchlax total? Well, remember, one's a Snorlax. And then I captured um, three extra. So we have a total of four leftovers so far, and you can see how many Pokemon I've caught just trying to get those leftovers. Um, Blue Lake, we really were just there to try and get um, a good Dratini. We're probably done with the Blue Lake. Yellow Forest took a lot of Pikachus, but honestly, it could have been could have been a lot worse. Uh, yeah, all honesty, um, for the odds to try and find the Pikachus that we did, we got really, really lucky. Um, so I'm gonna do it. It's worth waiting for. I'm glad that I have fooled you into thinking so, because we're gonna we're gonna be playing a lot of Pokemon today. Ooh, 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 ooh! Fun thing before we even start recording, I wanna show you some some special. So here, check this out. I have uh, been really getting into the Perler Bead stuff lately. If you couldn't tell from the backgrounds of the Playing With Myself episodes, and um, of course I made a Shuckle, but it was just eventually I was finally gonna do this. Because um, somebody actually sent me a Shuckle Perler, but it was his box sprite, so it was a lot smaller. They made a shiny one for me, so it was really cool. Um, and Heart Gold is what this one's uh, framed from, because I really love the sprites from this game. It's probably my favorite Pokemon game just for its sprites. Um, so yeah, I finally made this one. I've actually got a couple others. Um, there is a shiny Absol and a shiny Rayquaza. They're also going to go up there. Um, um, this direction, which actually off camera is where I do the playing with myself wall direction, if you know what I'm talking about. And um, that is going to have, hopefully there's like a Pokemon team of six when I'm finished. And then like the, the scaling Samuses from the end of uh, Metroid games, one through five. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the only one I have like on hand. I just wanted to hold them up and show you at one point. Because we're, we were supposed to hang them today, but you know, it's always so busy. Uh, there's a ranch in Route 20 in White 2. It's cute. Um, I could swear that's what I'm thinking, though. Because, it, yeah, it's... I thought it was called White Forest. There's, like, Black City and White Forest. And it is, it is like, a ranch area with, like, a bunch of baby Pokemon. Sweet, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad... Thanks, DK. I'm glad they, like, this shows up really well on camera. Like, the colors that they picked for those games are really nice. Like, you actually get, like, shading and gradation in these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm eventually going to do um, commissions and stuff once I'm able to actually open an Etsy shop, but I'm a busy boy, so I don't know how that's ever going to happen. But still, as you can see today, the Pokemon of ours who is going to be retiring uh, in the Pokewalker, I'm not going to even show you right now, is... Ooh, well, I mean, process of elimination should be obvious, but there you go right there. It's Dragonair, if you can see that. Dragonair having fun, found something, 20 watts. There we go, if you can even read it. There you go, actually, that works. So yeah, there's Dragonair, just, you know, chilling, uh, Max and Relax and all cool. The thing about uh, Dragonair right now is, um, uh, Hishi at Day is at, um, level like 37 or something. The, the level, um, not the level before uh, they will learn Dragon Rush, but it's the one right before that. So basically, once I'm finished leveling up in here, um, I know that Dragonair has to go back into the game to level up traditionally in order to get Dragon Rush. I have to be very careful for every Pokemon for all of their moves that they learn, because if they hit that level in the walker, they get nothing. And remember, I can't use outside help, meaning I've permanently missed that move. And I don't want that. So. Dragonair is trying to get its way. It's, it's like I said, super high levels at this point, so we're probably going to be perfectly fine uh, as the slaughter continues. Um, yeah, Furred is really just here for our uh, HMs. It's kind of a real shame that we're not able to get... Uh... Yes? Okay. Able to get... Um, 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 pick up on anybody. Because, yeah, that's another thing. If you go back to the Lineage Path, I'm pretty sure all of the Munchlaxes... Thick Fat, Thick Fat, Thick Fat... Pick Ooh! We do have a pickup one. We do have a pickup one. Okay, so hold on. Where's the town outskirts? Here? Okay. Let's 
Well, for now, actually, Nipple should go in team, because Nipple is our HM user. Let's put Nipple there and grab a Munchlax for some pickup so we can get some goodies while we're out exploring and doing our thing today. All right. So, with that aside, let's do... Um, I'll actually, I'll do a quick summary just to catch up on everybody when we actually start our video. And for those of you who are not familiar with how I do this, I've done this with Pokemon Cute Charm in the past. I will actually record the episodes live with you guys here. Lyra, I intentionally told nobody that you can have my phone number, but I can't actually... I can't answer that call, can I? Can I answer the call? Well, it doesn't matter. It's not going to help me, right? It's like talking to a person. But, ooh, I can't talk to some people. Anyway. Just because we did a little bit of housekeeping in case I do something stupid and mess up and accidentally like accept something that I shouldn't, we're going to save. And from this point, we're going to start our episode. But that's what I was trying to say. We're going to actually start filming live while we're here. Uh, once I'm done like saying the generic episode stuff, then I can jump over and we'll start doing um, the actual chat and interacting with you guys a bit as we're playing the episode itself. Uh, first time catching one of these streams. So what is the Poker Walker? Wow. <laughs> loaded question right there. Um, so, I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. So basically, if you bought Heart Gold or Soul Silver um, new, you would get one of these things, which is basically a uh, Tamagotchi slash pedometer, and you could wirelessly connect this to your game, put a Pokemon inside, it'll walk around in it while you're in the real world walking around. You have the ability to catch Pokemon from this thing, get items from this thing, and level up from this thing. And um, my goal in this series is to beat the entirety of the game by only using this guy. I can only get Pokemon from this, I can only get items from this, and I can't use anything else that I would normally get in the game. Can't even talk to people. Though the only one person we decided I can talk to is the Name Raider, because I gotta nickname my Pokemon. And when you bring them back from Pokewalker, you're not allowed to name them. It, it just doesn't give you the chance. Um, oh, Velocity Ranch! Yes, I remember now. We can get Lillipop, Azuril, Patrat, Mary, Psyduck, Pidov, and Riolu. Um, yeah, the Riolu was probably the biggest one you could have gotten out of there, but I'm pretty sure he's really rare. Um, honestly, uh, if you're trying to, like, build a team out of it, Azuril is one of the best ones you could have gotten. Lillipup would have also been good. Mary would have been also quite good. Um, Pidov would have been okay. Um, yeah, they're, they're all actually decent. Uh, Psyduck, Patrat would probably be the only ones that wouldn't be, like, excellent team members, but they'd be okay. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm very interested to see if your uh, your shiny gender flips on you, which it's so funny how they coded it like that. That even make that happen because it's accidentally happening. Of course, it's not like the Pokemon's choice. It's just it's doing its thing. All right, so I say we start filming this, and we're gonna get this show on the road. We have two battles today um, for episode. I don't remember what number. Oh, there you go. I actually just faked myself out. I looked at the little Poke Walker right here under my face, and I saw the, like, the little exclamation point. And I was like, oh, I gotta get a thing. Because, like, every time you see that, you have to, like, accept the thing, otherwise you'll miss it and you'll lose it. So, um, every time I see that. But, of course, that like that's just a picture, and it's a picture of a Shuckle in there, of course. I didn't even know what my team was going to be, and Shuckle's not even accessible in the Poke Walker. Shouldn't have even put him there, but... Well, yeah. Probably should have made a safe guess and put Pikachu. Actually, I think the original picture is a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I just switched it for Shuckle, because of course I did. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I say, let's get started. Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are joining me for another episode of the Pokewalker Challenge, and today we have two battles that we need to get through. For, well, um, two important ones. First of all, we're going to have to get all the way through that gym right there. And secondly, we are going to need to defeat our rival, and I believe our rival is up in here. And after we do so, uh, Morty the gym leader is going to move down into the gym below. So since it's been a while, I'm going to do a quick catch up on the Pokemon that we have in our party. As well as also mention that uh, for this episode, then at least the next one, maybe two, who knows however many I'm able to get while I'm streaming this episode again. Um, Dragonair is in the Pokewalker, and it's probably for the best because Dragonair is my highest level Pokemon at about, like, level 37 or so, is about to learn Dragon Rush. So that's why I'm trying to keep Dragonair uh, in the walker. I'm doing a lot of walking um, lately, and that's why our Pokemon are at such high levels. I'm not leveling up in the grass unless I absolutely have to to get to um, my next level up and get a move, because that's the only way to get moves. I have to level up in the main game. You can't do it in the Pokewalker. It acts kind of like the daycare. You just 
Actually, the daycare will give you the move, but it'll at a random spot. Poco Walker just skips it. Same for evolutions, you just, nothing. You don't get that. So you just, you technically leveled up, and that's it. It's like, it's like a rare candy, but none of the benefits. So if I was like hardcore doing Poco Walker, um, this would be insanely difficult because none of my attacks would actually change over. <laughs> that would suck. Um, so anyway, Toenail is doing quite well uh, at level 23. You can see the attacks down there. I'm going to keep it on the attacks so you can see if any of these have changed. I don't think Toenail has actually changed any of um, uh, his abilities since you've seen him before. Ear and Elbow are now both at level 22. Uh, same moveset. Uh, Gluteus, this is a big jump. I've been walking Gluteus a lot because I'm trying to get to the point where I can use Raichu, and I believe Gluteus were mostly waiting on getting Thunder. As soon as I get Thunder on Gluteus, then boom, evolve into Raichu, and then teach Raichu Rain Dance. Rain Dance is going to basically give us that ability to double, or whatever power up it is for Surf, whatever, buff Surf, um, Thunder won't miss, um, it, it's just it's just gonna help a ton also it's gonna be a surfing Raichu and that's gonna be amazing so working on that and, so, and for the meantime we have a level 37 Pikachu holding a light bulb I don't think we're gonna die and Maximus not too far behind at level 30 I was so thankful I didn't forget to do the level up thing earlier and actually acquire Thunderbolt for Maximus because Maximus doesn't really have any crazy tricks up his sleeve uh, once we get farther along I, I don't really know what I want for that last move honestly because I can't use move tutors um, can't use the TMs I find unless I find them in the walker and there's not really great ones in the walker so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that last attack uh, just from pure level ups but hey at least we have fly even though it is physically it is weakened um, thunder and thunderbolt are both strengthened so with with the nature I mean uh, and, of course, um, we have a random Munchlax here. So I have still been trying to get extra Munchlaxes. That's actually where I'm at right now in the Pokewalker. I'm in the Winner's Path again. Um, if I'm not able to walk very far in one day, like less than 8,000 steps, I'm going to go to the Dim Cave instead because it gives me a lot of uh, healing items and other berries and things like that. So it seems to be the most beneficial place for me to just casually walk. Um, Winner's Path, I'm basically just trying to get more Munchlax because it gives me more leftovers, of course, to give to more of our team. So far, I have four of them, which really is plenty, but I mean, I'm in there anyway. Um, so after I have the leftovers, I'm also just trying to form my Munchlax. This one I just figured out before we started this. I didn't even know this. It finally has pickup. So we have a pickup Pokemon again. So we're going to actually play the next few episodes while checking that Munchlax down there, making sure that we're still getting our uh, Pokemon and our abilities. Let's um, let's actually switch to Elbow here. I have no idea what kind of Pokemon we're going to be dealing with today in this episode, but um, I do know that when we get to, uh, or rather, past this point, once we get into Morty's Gym, um, I believe we are just going to be dealing with lots and lots of uh, ghost types. Well, ghost types. I don't think any of them actually have Mistrevis, and um, since none of them actually have Mistrevis, I don't care what this guy's saying. In fact, I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit. It looked like it was a little loud there. Um, it's really weird none of them have Mistrevis. Mistrevis is the only one that was just Ghost type for Johto. Am I allowed around you, dude? All right, here we go. All right, here's the fight. <laughs> Wrong fight. Um, but yeah, they're all gonna be Psychic. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Poison Ghost. And since they're all Poison Ghost, they're all weak to Psychic, so I can only imagine Elbow is just going to absolutely annihilate everything in there. So, that's that! We're gonna get to the fight with Silver in just a moment. I can't believe that's happening. And Baby behind me sounds extremely upset. Mom is home trying to take care of her. I wouldn't do that. Here, hopefully that's loud enough. I wanna make sure we can hear this. There we go, that's some good stuff. Oh, it's you! You must be here to catch legendary Pokemon and make yourself look strong! That's only a dream, you see. Legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who was sworn to become the strongest trainer! Yeah, there you go. I do solemnly swear I will be the strongest trainer, even though I don't know what makes constitutes a strong trainer, other than, like, was just given strong Pokemon or leveled them up in the, the grass long enough time. Anyway, yeah, he leads with Ghastly! That's outstanding. That's what I was hoping for. Zen Headbutt, it's done. Oh, got me with Curse! Juice. That's probably his best move he could have done. He, he was he was screwed right there. Absolutely screwed. Hello, uh, welcome to the stream, G Welsh and Lil John Jono. Yep, afflicted by the curse, about to send a magnemite switch. Yep, because I want that curse to go away. 
Um, Magnemite. Um, um, well, it's gonna resist Psychic and, uh, Steel, so using another Matang is not a good idea. Um, I think it also resists Ghost as well as Normal, so Toenail's not helpful. Um, it's gonna resist the heck out- oh, you know what? Uh, Water. Gluteus. Yeah, that's really weird, but yeah, I was like, Water! Oh yeah, I need Water! Switch out for my Pikachu! Unfortunately, this is like my only way to do it. I don't want to just continuously use my level 37 Pikachu, who actually, according to this, needs needs some XP today in order to manually level up. So I don't want to like... Wow, that was a lot, actually. You know what? Stay, stick it in Gluteus. I want Gluteus to get the XP for this. Uh, keep battling, because when I put the Pokemon into Walker, they don't like keep all the XP. So say I walked 20,000 steps in one day, but I had a Pokemon in there who only wanted like um, uh, 1,200 in order to level up. They only get the one level up. They don't, like, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. They just get the one. So, the daycare center is actually up on the Poke Walker in that, in that sense. Oh, Croconaut, dude, you are screwed. I don't ever remember one-shot killing my rival so badly like this before, but Thunderbolt, that guy's done. I also got a Light Ball. Just to add insult to injury, I also have a Light Ball. Which is also why I'm kind of trying to get one Raichu. Yes! It was perfect! One Raichu, and then I'll just keep the other Pikachu for a while, because it'll be a light ball Pikachu, and that's good enough. This is perfect, where Gluteus is in right now, because I'm basically maximizing how much I can get out of the walker. So I say today, we try and tell Gluteus, you can sit back, you can wait, you'll go back in the box later, or something like that. Alrighty. So, with that out of the way, I just gotta spook these doggos, and I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the gym. Alrighty, so with that out of the way, um, let me see, Gluteus, yeah, is in, let's move Gluteus to the back here. I think we need three random encounters in order to get pickup to actually work, by the way. Um, it's the first time I've said hello, came across the, uh, Big Brain Academy video that you did. Switch version is fantastic. I do have the Switch version, or whatever they actually call that. Um, a Big, B Big Brain, is it just called Big Brain Academy? I have it, I swear I do. I, I have, I'm still trying to get through getting the, the gold or whatever platinum star uh, on each of the mini games before I like do something else. Because like, Professor Loeb, or Dr. Loeb, whatever it is, he told me, he's like, oh, I'll give you unlock something if you get a, you know, this level in all of them. I'm like, well, of course I'm going to do that, but at the same time, I'm playing so many other games. Um, lately, I'm playing Dark Souls, and I love it. I love it so much. It's been... A game that I've avoided for the longest time, and for no good reason other than I never had a good way to play it. Man, she is she is throwing a fit back there. I hope you don't hear her. Also, is the music level okay? I hope it is. Man, so yeah, I had to free. The oh my gosh, are you all right? I don't know if you'd hear that. Uh, sh little baby is upset that mom's not letting her draw on the walls with her chapstick. Could I am recording? Could you please get her away from the door, at least? <sighs> she's she's crazy. Uh, it's called, oh yeah, it's called Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain. You know, there are more trainers in here, it looks like. Um, is it just the one dude? Well, we shouldn't fight him with a steel type if it is just the one dude. Um, let's go to Toenail, I guess. Um, let's go to my end. Oh, your volume? Alright, good. I don't know if there's any more trainers in here other than this guy. Oh, there was one below us. You know what, here. I'll stop recording. And we'll resume when we actually get to the gym. Because we don't need to record absolutely every one of these, but we just need to, like, play up to this point. And sprites in this game are so good. Why don't we have sprite space for one of these? Um, I prefer the little characters in the original game's title screen. Me too. But his voice is, like, a split second. But in order to get super practice, you need gold. Um, oh, is that, is that what it is? Super practice? I don't know what I was going to lock. I was just, like, trying to do stuff. Of course he starts with a psychic Pokemon. Of course he does. Um, coughing, smog, mist, and leftovers. Thank you. I'm gonna lick at this. Assurance. 
leftovers. That is so helpful. Um, but yeah, the, the Switch one, it's a lot of fun. I've just been playing so many other things. But to send another coughing, you know what? I am also going to switch Pokemon. Switch to Elbow. Let's give Elbow some opportunities to heal with the leftovers. And then we're going to try and get our fourth badge today. Or at least in this episode that we're trying to build. Uh, Confusion should one-shot them. If he's got any fire types in there, like a Magmar. I was expecting a Magmar. My god, I remember the Magmar hunts at the bottom of this place. It was so horrible. He does have a fire type. It's a Growlithe, though. Interesting. Um, let me see. So, we don't have Thick Fat. We have the other ability. Is it immunity? Does Tony have immunity because he had Pickup? Because, um, you can have Thick Fat on the Munchlax, and I assume it's it's one for one like that. Like, if you had Thick Fat, you can have Thick Fat as a Snorlax. Um, I'm not positive. Pretty sure it's immunity. If, if it is immunity, um, I don't know, they're, they're both really good. I don't know which one I would consider better. Shoot, I missed. Whatever. He uses Leer. <laughs> like, whatever. Ooh, crits, that makes up for it. Alright. So, level that up, good. And, Fire Breather Ned is Fire Breather dead. We can't get the Pokeball, which means we cannot cross that if need be. Oh, shoot, there's a trainer over there. I can't fight him. I cannot fight this trainer. <laughs> Unless I'm willing to drop that item, but it's it's not really worth it. Shoot! What do you guys say? Do you think I'm not allowed to fight that trainer? I, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to fight the trainer based on my rules. So I'm just gonna leave him there. I can't fight him. That stinks, that's so funny. I'm gonna just, just directly compare. How much does Lick do base? Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we're gonna try and hit him with another tackle instead. Because uh, hitting absolutely everything I can in the wild is helping us. Because I do need as much XP as possible. Um, when it comes to fighting these guys, remember, like, I really can't heal. I can't, I technically can. But um, I'm not gonna be able to spam heal. I'm trying to stockpile as much as I can for the Elite Four, because that's something where you really do need to heal. And if somebody goes down, even now, I don't have a single revive. I have no way to revive a Pokemon if they actually faint. So. Keep that in mind, it's going to be a pain in the butt when we actually get to the Elite Four. I think. Really think, man, those coughings are tanky for some reason? I didn't think coughing was that tanky compared to a Rattata. Rattata's the HP one. Oh, I thought there was a person down here. Was there? There was a guy down here. Wasn't there? There was a kid standing in that corner. What? Uh, hmm. I could, you can roll it back. I swear there was a guy standing there. Well, I guess he's not there now. So regardless, I'm going to move on to the gym. I have no other choice. We probably should... Um, there's no sense in healing. We don't need to heal. We say, well, let's just go back to the Pokemon Center. Make sure that we're good and ready to fight the gym battle. Oh, what if we go this way? Oh, you can't. That's all required by picking up the Pokeball. If I can't pick up that Pokeball, I can't go that way. He wasn't here. I shouldn't talk to anybody. Shouldn't talk to anybody. They might accidentally give me an item. And then I'll have to pitch it. Dude, stop. 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 Okay. What was that item I was supposed to box? It was an item I was supposed to box. I remember we talked about this last time and I never did it. Shoot, what was that item? I had to box an item and I completely forget what it was. Hold on. Um, uh, the, the bag. Uh, River Gold, Miracle Seed, I already did that. Uh, big Roots, Thunderstone, Choice Specs, Choice Scarf. I got a Choice uh, Specs, by the way. Um, from the, from, it is from the Walker. Um, potion, Super uh, See, I got a decent amount of these. Oh, uh, Munch Life probably has an item. But yeah, there's no way to revive anybody. This is all that I got from the Walker so far. Um, fastball? Was it Fastball? How do you even get a fastball? It doesn't matter, I can't catch anything. I think it was a TM. Oh, 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 box the, uh, box the gym leader's TMs, I think is what it was. So that means roost, attract, U-turn. And I'm technically allowed to keep flash. I think you guys said, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, boot up the PC, PC be activated, hamster's PC. Um, ball capsules? What? You can do that in this game? I didn't even know you could do that in this game. 
ball caps can't be used since you don't have any seals. Mailbox. So what, I can't box items anymore? Hold on. Mailbox? Some crap from Lyra. Um, I, uh, Bill's PC? Can I box items here? Move items, no. No, I can't. Shoot, whatever. I mean, we'll just know that they're all accounted for. There's nothing else I could do. Much likes. not holding anything. Actually, you know what, pull that back up again. We're gonna switch uh, elbow out for the front, and we will heal. Just to make sure that we are prepared, I didn't do anything stupid. I'm not gonna go in there and try and win with a Pokemon that I just, you know, lost some of its HP, but at the same time, I'm fighting with two Metangs. Um, I don't remember what level his Gengar is going to be, but I assume we'll be fine. Granted, uh, we are gonna get cursed. Probably a few times. Uh, started at 11 decks of male and female of each Pokemon, or if it's just male, female, or genderless, I catch one of. Cool. Cool. I do like, um, the collectathon aspect of Pokemon, I think, is, um, something that doesn't seem to be, you know, more prevalent in the game itself, and I wish it was. Alrighty. Uh, oh, shoot, what are we doing here? I gotta film, what am I thinking? Alright. Alright, guys, and we're back, and we're gonna take on Morty's Gym, now that we got his sorry butt back in here. Um, also, a funny thing that we noticed in the Burnt Tower... So there was a Pokeball in the way of this, like, uh, single tile strip of, like, um, I don't know, like, a, just ruins of the top floor that you could walk past, and there was a trainer on the other side of it. I could not actually fight that trainer because the Pokeball was in the way, and I can't pick up the Pokeball because I can't take any items. So there goes that trainer. <laughs> He's just stuck there forever. Um, well, I'm gonna try a regular confusion. Mean look, elbow can no longer escape. Does that still carry over if the next Ghastly uses Curse? Because that could be a tactic that these guys could use to actually defeat us. No, I have the ability to switch. Maybe I just have to defeat the one. That I'm not positive on. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But either way, we should be fine, especially if, um... What, does Milok have speed priority? Why was I able to outspeed this one? Questions. It's been a while. Give me a break. Uh, level 23, I don't know when they're going to start learning anything cool next. Um, I was just trying to level them up manually because the Pokemon level up in the walker right now. Boy, are they eating a lot of XP. Um, basically because they're on really high levels. Dragonair, like I said, in there is taking like uh, somewhere over uh, 32 or 3600 XP, I think. Uh, no, we're going to keep on fighting. Five Ghastlies, I assume. All because they don't seem to realize the Mysterious is also a Pokemon. They should have surprised you and put, uh, like, Morty has a Mysterious or something. But I'm pretty sure, no, this entire gym is just Ghastly Haunter Kangar. You could have done this in, um, Kanto. But instead of the Ghastly, where you switch Pokemon, no. Wow, we can probably get Elbow to level, uh, 24, and then catch Ear up. Got these stupid names. Uh, catch Ear up and get Ear at that point. Man, the fights that we were actually having in the Burnt Tower were a little bit more intense than this, and of course, I'm, this is what I decided to film, because this is the actual gym fight! <laughs> uh, we I remember this gym being so difficult, actually just natively playing the game, because I don't really know if you can get a Psychic Pokemon at this point, or a Psychic move. You can. You can get a Kadabra, uh, just south of here, I think. You get uh, an Abra, but if you leveled up, you can get a Kadabra, and defeat this. There's like an answer in the grass below each gym, typically. Did you have to turn off the lights? Like turn off the light like that? Alright, so I need to go to the right, up, and left to get around Granny. Um, oh man. Oh man. Medium Grace. <laughs> Medium Grace. That's an interesting name for that. You know, um, let's see a Zen headbutt should also one shot it. I'm gonna try a confusion, see how much this does. Elbow's now confused, elbow used confusion. Not enough. Alright, so that does matter. Elbow confusion, nightshade isn't gonna do too much. Hurt itself confusion, that's gonna add up. Okay, come on, come on now. I mean luck, I don't care. Snapped out, confusion, good. We might even want to stay in, um, so that we can get more XP for, uh, HP from the, uh, well, XP2 
Yeah, I'm assuming it's another honor. I was saying something else. I completely forget what it was. This happens all the time. You know, um, ever since I went on vacation and got sick with the thing, I've just had this awful brain fog where my my head's just gone. Even it's not dumb, just like the neurons are just not connecting anymore, and I completely cannot remember what I'm even saying or doing. Speaking of can't remember what I'm saying or doing, I think I was staying in. Is that what I decided I was gonna do? I don't know, man. I'm I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I'm getting stupid. Zen headbutt. Oh boy. Had hurt himself. <laughs> you are getting really lucky, lady. You are. Mean luck. Can't escape. Snap down. Zen headbutt. There we go. Okay, so can this one shot a haunter? Good. So the only question is can it one shot a Gengar? I do not know. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna switch him. I'm gonna switch him. Oh, right, hold on. We need to go right up and this way. We're gonna switch to here. <laughs> Because I'm going to call that as two levels up. It's the same. Boink. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you got to go down and around her. Yeah. Uh, and then one more tile to the left. If she didn't actually come forward, you wouldn't have been able to figure that out at all. I think the lights are just off. I don't remember if they're just off. If you uh, fall off and try and come back in. Yikes. All right, so... Haunter, um, let's just start with the Zen headbutts and hope that I'm faster. Whatever, I, leftovers will take care of that. That's not a big deal. Did I miss? Sucker punch, come on. There. You know what stinks is you don't heal at the end of these. I mean, still, it's it's good enough that I'm able to get far enough, but yeah. Medium Edith. Is that your old lady name? Because that's a good old lady name. I go. I like Edna. Oh my god, can I tell you about something that's, like, super stupid? So, um, you guys know Zach from Hitbox. So, uh, oh, right, this one's weird. So you have to go back a tile, uh, and then go to... Okay, so it's down, right, right, up, up, up. No, hold on. Yes. Down, right, right, up, up, up. Down, right, right, up, up, up. All right, good lord, this is, uh... She's gonna get me here. So, like, I can't remember anything. I remember just saying like, the, the, uh, the the viral thing. Yeah, I, and I even had uh, my shots and my booster, but oof, not enough, man. That's not enough. It still it still beat the crap out of me. And it was unfortunate too, because it was like my first vacation in four years, and that's how I spent it. Today. Um, HP is going up. Sending the haunter. Nope, we're good. So yeah, the stupid thing. So um, Zach. Uh, me and Kim are playing Cyberpunk, not the um, CD Projekt Red video game, the actual uh, tabletop RPG game. Um, no, no tables involved what we're doing, we're just kind of like, you know, just talking and dice, you know, the D&D kind of thing. And um, uh, Zach's making the story, and so far, like, uh, uh, Kim and I made characters were basically like old biddies. Uh, who work at a cat cafe, and um, some like super rare, um, valuable cat is dropped off by basically the mafia, and is stolen, and we need to get it back, or we're gonna be um, hunted down by the mafia and killed. <laughs> we're both like two old ladies playing <laughs> in the cyberpunk world. Uh, Kim's like this like uh, techie old lady um, who like has like cybernetic eyes and stuff, and I'm. Um, but even though I'm, like, an old, unattractive, visibly unattractive, like, you know, old woman, my stats are very high in, um, seduction and stuff, so I'm, like, this pushes Walker aside. Would you like to join me in the back of my van? <laughs> and I roll for seduction and it just has to work, because it's so high. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, we're having a good time. It's very stupid. How am I taking so much damage? Oh, I'm cursed! I'm not paying attention, I have to be cursed. Okay, um, well, I defeated her. Um, now I gotta pay close attention to how to walk around this person, and we should probably not fight with ear. Down, right, right, up, up, up. Down, right, right, up, up, up. One of those tiles, he, he ran instead of stood. Oh, they turned the lights back on. Well, that's freaking convenient, isn't it? You know, just for the sake of making this more interesting, I'm not going to heal ear. 
We're gonna switch back to Elbow, um, just to see what happens. And even still, I, I feel like they, like Morty cannot possibly deal with my Snorlax, and we haven't even gotten to that point. What's to the right? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I gotta remember, there's, there truly is nothing in here. And actually, some people use this uh, gym in order to level up happiness. I was kind of bummed that I didn't have access to this by the time I was messing with um, Munchlax, but of course, I was trying to do it as early as possible to get Belly Drum. So yeah, as a thing, as a thing, you can just like stand, basically you, you put like, um, if you're using a 3DS, you can put a, uh, a coin inside of your analog. Not a great idea to do for, you know, the long term, but basically it forces your character to keep running forward and it tricks the system into doing drift effectively. And so if you have drift and you're just drifting forward, you're just running forward, you teleport backwards, run forward, teleport backwards, run forwards, and the game just keeps doing this forever. And ideally, oh no, I've got a switch. You know what? This is Snorlax's time to shine. This is Snorlax's time to shine. We're gonna lick them all to death. They can't deal with me. They can't do this. You got nothing on this. My, I'm gonna get some HP as well, so... Elbow, scary face. What? No! Well then, give up on scary? Yes! I actually have really good attacks. Uh, Elbow is afflicted by the curse, yep. Or he's sending in Gengar, switch Pokemon. Doesn't he have two Gengar or something nuts like that? If we absolutely need to, we have our other Pokemon. Though this might still be the first challenge? We'll see. What can Gengar do to my toenail? And toenail is lower level. Um, you know what? What if I belly drum? What if I belly drum? Is it necessary? It might be. He could curse the first turn. And if he does, I gotta switch Pokemon. Mean look, mean look. Alright, fine. Fine. We're in this, Toenail. Let's go, Toenail. Maximize its, eight, its attack. And I'm healing because of leftovers. We are doing this. Lick. Hypnosis. Toenail, no! I, actually, that kind of works out. I'm healing still. But he's gonna start using, um, Dream Eater. No, he's using Sucker Punch? Toenail woke up. Lick. Oh, it's a super powerful lick. <laughs> I belly jumped for my lick. Citrus berry. Mm. It's okay, my leftovers are slowly gonna do more than that. Please don't put me back to sleep. Again, that's fine. If he's gonna attempt a sucker punch again, it's not worth trying to use an item to wake up Snorlax. I don't have very many of those. I, I do have a good amount of berries, but he's not dealing that much. Sucker punch. Ridded. Tony woke up. Lick, come on! Bam! There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright. Gengar fainted. Tony got a thousand XP. Mm hmm. Five in HP. Uh, okay. So Tony ever so more about to send a Haunter. Um. Let's stay in. I have maxed um, attack right now. And if I switch, it's gone. Come on now, lick, do this. Honor, use curse, no! No one's gonna get the XP for this. That's gonna kill Toenail. Give me the HP first, HP first. Leftovers first, leftovers first, yes. Okay, now how much does curse do? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, that only mattered because leftovers went first. Oh my god, okay, um, we're definitely switching now. He's not gonna be able to survive another one of those. So, elbow and ear, neither are doing great. So how about elbow? No one goes down. This was, this was close. Granted, he didn't even try and deal with my Pikachu. So if, he, if he'd done that, he would've, like, absolutely been slaughtered, but still. Um, actually, I don't know. The, the Metangs and the Snorlax are the hardest ones for him to deal with. Why didn't he Dream Eater my Snorlax? That would've been the way to go. Um, oh well, Zen Headbutt should take him out, especially if he's cursing himself. Because I should be able to withstand the curse, even if it still happens. I don't think it happens, because the HP won't roll over either. What do we got? Alright, so yeah. Um, now that, I, now that I'm seeing this fight, this is the first gym leader I feel like we actually needed to think and pay attention in. Like, that could have gone really badly. So, I'm, I'm getting very, very fearful for the rest of the game, because the Elite Four is now sounding much, much scarier than what it could have been. I can use Surf! Well, what do you know? I already have it! 
Um, so yeah, I should... Oh, hold on. What does that mean? Shadow Ball, I want to fight with that. That's so good. I wouldn't give it to anybody, but I can't. I'm not allowed to. Um, that's another thing. I try to box my, um, items and... Oh, what am I doing? I try to box my items and I can't do it because boxing items is just not a thing in this game. So, I mean, I could theoretically, like, give those TMs to some Pokemon that I'm never going to use, put them in the box. Ooh, do we get a pickup item? We did! Item! Oh, it's a repel. Whatever. Take. Sure. Thanks, Munchlax. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> but, yeah, we can, we can surf all over. We can do many, many things now. I'm wondering where we'll actually go first. Like, oh, do we... Do we go to the lighthouse to try and get Jasmine? Oh, no, no, we actually have to. We have to go to the lighthouse to um, get to Jasmine, find out she needs the medicine, surf down to Cinnawood, I think it is, um, beat the gym, get the uh, medicine, then go back up and fight Jasmine. Okay, Whew. and we have another badge for today. I will acquire this um, for the top of the next episode, and I will see you guys there. Thank you all so much for joining me. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Pokewalker Challenge. Boo! Oh, and you know what? Obviously, of course, that's just a recording. We're gonna keep playing in here today. Um, I'm wondering, uh, do you have that, like, fighting thing next door with like, all the Vaporeons now? Or does that show up later? Because if that's now, what are we doing? We gotta go get some XP, man. That was really close with that Snorlax almost going down. The belly drum really mattered, too. So I'm really glad we did get that. I'm trying to space this out perfectly. There we go. Cause I want to make sure we can fit like all eight right there on the side. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Kanto. Probably just like take all the Johto ones off because I'm not gonna have room for all um, all those badges. There we go. It looks looks like it's on there, right? All right, cool. We have four badges now. Excellent. I only have um the next one up here in front of me to put on if it comes to that. So um. If we manage to actually get to Jasmine today, we're going to need uh, uh, me to run up and try and find some more. I'm going to check, see if um, there are battles in here. Hey, hey, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so how about we um, we fight through this, get some XP. <laughs> Respect what the customer wants. I can only imagine what he wanted. Or he's just drunk. Um, oh, right, this is just the one Team Rocket memory. You're supposed to save all of these, so... How about we switch over to Ear, try and get Ear up to 24? It's like our lowest Pokémon right now. Um, I've got to fix my Circle Stick on my 3DS. It broke off! Already fixed my Stick Drift on my Switch Pro Controller. Luckily, it just needed to be cleaned. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Sorry, DK Renegade. I was obviously recording, so I wasn't able to catch up on your comments in full. But, um... Ugh. Now you're scaring me. Nice. Weak to Psychic. I like this. And I think uh, its special defense must be lower because Snorlax was hitting it with physical tackles and it was just tanking them. I thought Snorlax was really powerful, but maybe it's up to this point I'm, my Pokemon are supposed to be up at this level. So, eh. Um, who am I going to use against the fighting dude? Uh, it, mm, I could use the Metangs. Snorlax is not going to be a good choice, obviously. Um, but, oh, you know what, am I supposed to talk to you? I, I don't think so! He might, she might give me something. Does he forcefully give me Surf? Yeah, I thought that was right. He forcefully gives you Surf, which is fine. I mean, I'm not allowed to use it. Well, I mean, I am. But, I found a way around getting that one. Oh, that would be the meanest stipulation for a Pokewalker challenge. You are not allowed to, um, hold on. Is Rock Smash required to beat the game? Strength is, and I don't think you can just like level up, learn strength anywhere. So I think I, I looked that up too, just to see like, is it possible to actually beat the game without even teaching any of your Pokemon an HM move by basically just trying to get them out of the walker? Because you can get Surf and Fly with the Pikachu, so it's theoretically possible. I've already been over here a little bit doing some level ups, um, so I think the trainers have already been fought, so we can just pass by. I can't pick that up. Um, I'm pretty sure now I just gotta run through the grass to go up. Oh, hold on. No, th that always gets me every time. Alright, so here we go. I fought you, right? She wanted to give me your phone number, and I was like, Ugh. I don't need no stinking phone number. <laughs> I'm the only one who needs my attention. Alright, Radicates. Uh, let Iron Head should just one shot, I think. 
Hyper Fang. That did so little! Man. So we definitely need to get... Wow. I'm surprised that didn't kill it. We do need to get, um... I would say ear and elbow up a little bit higher so we can take on... What's his name? Chuck? Um... His scary one's the Polyrath, and, um, so... Pikachu's. Use the Pikachu's. Yeah, that's gotta be the way to do it. Just use Pikachu. Okay, so I don't know if I got this far. I got far enough that the Warden Bobo was no longer there. This is the photograph guy. Not allowed to talk to him. But whatever that's worth, can't talk to him. Did I fight you? Yep, looks like it. I'm, I'm also trying to not speak to anybody, but instead get in their way. Um, this guy would go down real easy with a Pikachu, but let's just do this. Like, do it like this. Dude! Dude! Your Pokemon nicknames remind me of a book I read when I was a kid, um, called The Ear, The Eye, and The Arm. <laughs> I do not know that book, but, um, yes, our names are indeed quite stupid. Um, I'm calling the world. I feel kind of bad not using my Pikachus right now, but Ear needs the XP. I think we really need to get our Metanks up higher. So that may be the way to go. Um, I don't remember who else. Uh, he has a primate. I think he just has a primate and a polygraph. He's one of those trainers who like just invests in like two Pokemon and gets through the entire game. Um, I rarely do that. Typically, I catch a lot of them and I'll have like a team of six, maybe five, and I'll get through it. Oh, oh was I hitting him with a steel move? What the heck am I thinking? Zen headbutt, you idiot! I'm just, I'm just swinging here. Um, but yeah, uh, only once that I can remember, I intentionally played through a game with only, like, three Pokemon. Really just two. Radicate, we switch. Um, no. And the two were my, it was, uh, it was Pokemon Emerald. Uh, the starter was a Skeptile, but I intentionally stopped him from leveling up too much in order to, or, well, no, I leveled him up all the way, but I, I made sure that he hung on to False Swipe. So, um, he had False Swipe, I used an Azumarill to get through a bunch of HMs, uh, but still fight, and then I used a Vigoroth, Vigoroth for a very particular reason, it was like I caught Vigoroth the entirety of the game, I like, kept it this Vigoroth, just so that when um, I would eventually challenge Mew to Shiny Hunt the Mew in Emerald, which was the only reason that I even played the game. I played the entirety of Emerald just to get to Mew and Shiny Hunt it. And when I did that, I uh, made sure that it would transform into my Vigoroth, because it knew moves that I knew couldn't kill itself, and I could also try and put the Mew to sleep as the Vigoroth with Yawn. Um, and then be fast enough, but have like a really easy capture rate. It was a bunch of things that had to, like... Wait, what's he want to learn? I missed that. Scary. Oh, right, right, right. We're 24. He wasn't on a scary face. Screw that. I hit don't give up. Make it forget a move. Keep the old moves. Well, then, give up on scary face. The original game, at least, like, this one gives you that second check, like, are you sure? Because the original one's like, I think it even switches the buttons. Like, no, here's what it does. And this, this, this is crap. So get this. In the original game, when you're learning a move, the text will come up on screen, would you like to switch, like, or which move would you like to switch? And as that text is going by, your instinct is to push A to make it, like, either, like, hurry the text up or push A, like, yes, I see the text and switch. Um, hey, like, go, like, give me the options. But instead, even if though the text is still going, if you push A, it counts as the first move, and you swapped your first move out. You have to wait for the text to go across, then you can select and pick which one you want to get switched out. That happened so many times to me, and I got so frustrated. I was like, oh, I just lost Bubble Beam on my Blastoise for, I don't know, Withdrawal, or he, whatever you would level up later. It's fine, obviously not Withdrawal, but still, like, made, like, a horrible mistake, and then you have to start the game over. Like, turn the game off and power it back on again. That's what I mean, from your save. Let's be friends. Figure nobody who likes Pokemon could be a bad person. <laughs> you don't know the internet, man. You have no idea. No, I do not want your phone number. But I bet you don't even like Pokemon. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've now done 8,200 encounters for a Shiny Mary. Well, hold on. So, um... You're still... Well, 
I was still gonna say that you're still under odds, because you found the uh, Azuril so early. But um, at the same time, yeah, that's a lot of encounters. <sighs> yeah. I mean, what if um, you grab like a lily pup out of there, or um, I don't know, Riolu or something? Are you gonna be content and just gonna move on with the game and keep going? Because um, at those odds, you really could try like. I think Mary Eep's more common in this grass in this game, where you find Mary Eep's. So that might be the way for you to go. But I get, like, wanting to hunt them in the game itself. Ah! No, this is not a fight. This is not a fight. Don't flip. Not a fight. I like how he's already beaten this gym. Oh, by the way, I'm like, speaking of the city's gym, like, isn't here! Right, right, right. Okay. So, yeah, I remember this, like, because otherwise, you, you turn the corner and go like, oh my god, you've already beaten the next gym. And that's not even the next gym. I do like the design, they, they actually made you pass this one up. Okay, so, in case we do get knocked out, we should heal here, so we don't have to make that journey again. So far, we're doing everything on foot. I wonder what happens if I just go south. Get the me Can you get the medicine before you speak to, uh... I don't think so. I think they just give it to you. I think I have to go up to the top, talk to Jasmine and the Ampharos. Then get the medicine from South. In Cinewood. Um, but that's just my guess. I think this is it. Oh, someone's trying to bust down my door. Okay. I believe there's also Pokemon in here. Oh yeah, you can use the elevator. Could, could you could you please not knock on my door, little girl? Please? Yeah, I know. Dad's behind the door. Yeah, lunchtime. Go get lunch. She knows I'm behind this door. Yeah, it's Dad Dad. Dad Dad's back here. Yeah, it's time for lunch. Here, I'm not recording. I'm just can I say hi to everybody? Oh, are you wearing necklaces? Yeah? Can I see? You're scared? There's a lot of lights in here. Dad's wearing a hat. What's up with that? Here, look. It's still Dad. It's still Dad. Oh! Did Mom push you over? Or did you just fall down? Try and kill this in the meantime. Yes, Dad! Hi! Can you say hi? Oh, you wanna wear my hat? That's okay. You can come wear my hat. If you want lunch, how about you go get lunch? She doesn't wanna show up, I guess. I figured she was gonna sit on my lap for a bit and actually wanna wear my hat, but. Nope. She got too nervous. Get a little less light on that side. The sun's coming back out, which is good. Wow, that knocked out tanked that. Uh, if I get my reap, then I'll be going to the dark double grass on Route 20 for shiny P dub. Um, you could land a P dub in the grass you're in right now, though, from what you said. So that actually um, that could be very lucky well, or unlucky. I mean, P dub is yeah more common elsewhere, though. Right? I believe that's how it works. Now that we made sure the acquaintance we shall trade phone numbers. That's not how it works, creepy old man. Imagine like you're playing as the girl. You know, you have like this. Even as a little boy, it's creepy. It's creepy. Just don't just take people's phone numbers like that, or just don't give out your phone number. Weird, man. I don't know how they were trying to move a mechanic out in the game, but still, it's just weird. I do not miss that mechanic at all. Not even a little. Um, maybe he only has two Pokemon, but I don't know how much, like, just confusion hits for. We're gonna try and get ear to 25 and then do the same for, um, elbow. There we go. These guys are unfortunately very slow, which does... I'm just gonna mash A to get through this now, because I, I am not gonna heal the sleeping. Ear is asleep. My ear is asleep, everyone. Um, hey Cameron! Welcome to the stream. We are trying to ascend to the top of the, um... What is this place? Uh, we 
gotta get to the top to find of this uh, lighthouse. Find Jasmine, get some medicine for uh, her Ampharos who's dying. Or really, it's just sick. And medicine just snap makes it better. Medicine in a poly world, keep battling. Um, I'm at the point where we just beat Morty. As you can see, we have our four badges up here. Oh god, forgot about the nicknames. This is Ear. Where uh, Ear was just sleeping. We're, we're powering up our Ear. It was a long time ago I found a shiny hit of on Route 20 and forgot about it and restarted my game. Well... Ear used conf... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I kind of miss the animations, but at the same time, we gotta get a move on. We don't, we don't need this to take forever. Defeated Sailor Huey. Excellent. Let's switch. Uh, first time I've lost in a while. Give me your phone number. <laughs> no. Looks like you're a wimp. No, I just don't want to deal with you calling me. Elbow, you're next. Cause toenail is not going to level up out there at all are not going to help us in the fighting type gym at all. Um, I just thought of something really weird. Are we going to use Pikachu to be Jasmine? Gluteus. Are we going to use Gluteus to defeat Jasmine? Huh. Um, where it goes for shiny hunting, I just got all three. The Kanto Star is working on the Johto ones now. With Cyndaquil. I really hope you're uh, resetting them, doing it the fun way. The Johto Starter Roulette reset is like the most fun shiny hunt. It might be my favorite shiny hunt that you could possibly do. Because you never know which one you're getting. You're just freaking gluteous. You really wanted to fight this? This is what you wanted? This is what you wanted. So I'm gonna try and get my shiny bird back. Yeah, at least get some redemption for your bird. If I'm sending a Pidgey, will you switch? Yeah. Um, just Elbow. Elbow's trying to level up here. Ah. All right, go, go Elbow. What are we gonna do, Elbow? Elbow uses Metal Claw. Break my Metal Elbow against, there we go. Why did I not kill the first one? Or did I use Confusion or something like that? About to send in a Pidgey. <sighs> this kid who just like had five Pokeballs ran in the opening grass and was like, yeah! I caught five of the one that can fly. I'm so strong. Maximus was dragged out. Eh, it works. Whatever. Maximus, you can fly! Oh! He's missed Rowan because I flew. As Pikachu. I probably could do that nervous laughter, gotta find my still silver copy. No, really, it's, it's actually like, no, the reason it's my favorite hunt is because, like, um, you turn your game on, you're standing already right in front of the thing. In fact, I should have done it here. I should have done a silver copy. Well, I wouldn't be allowed to use it. It's like, I wanna do that hunt again. Honestly, I really wanna do it on a Japanese one. I've been like, really wanted to get a Japanese game and like do basically what Cat's doing right now and like shiny hunt a whole team out of the game itself and just like play through the entirety of the game just like that is its own challenge but um I would want to do it on a Japanese copy and I did see you can actually get Japanese copies for like 60 bucks like with its walker and everything in its box so I'm still oh we got some back um I'm still very tempted to do that but it's like a full price like brand new new game so I'm still eh. You know, I don't have time to shiny on. And then when I have time to play games, I'm doing other things. You know. But yeah, what's so cool about that hunt is you, you turn your game on, you immediately, like, look at the three Pokeballs, and you can cycle between their three sprites, and they actually show you if it's shiny or not there, and you'll be able to accept whichever one is shiny. It's, like, the coolest way to hunt, because all three of them are great, and um, you never know which one you're actually going to end up with. And especially if you're... If you don't have them just yet, then definitely that's the way to do it. Uh, about to send in a Pidgey, will you switch? Nope. He really had a team of Pidgeys. Man out here really do be just hunting with Pidgeys. 
That's why we're now turning that part into an episode. I low-key have been thinking of doing a shiny Dream Team playthrough as soon as I pick up that Gen 1 Pokemon only run again. If you want to do a Gen 1 only run, why don't you just play Gen 1? I still think Gen 1 holds up. There's a reason to run out of the door right there. I don't remember why. I don't remember why, but there was... A, maybe it was like the faster way out or something. Like you fall out of the door. I don't know why anyone would do that. Oh, shoot! Um, a Growlithe. Uh, let's in a headbutt, hopefully one shot. So. Please. Yes, okay, good. So we're gonna do a fire. That will hurt. That's one of the few things that will actually hurt me. Another Growlithe. I will switch then. How about Snorlax? Toenail does need it the most after, um, Elbow. So is that what they call it? A shiny dream team? Where you, like... Well, I'm thinking, like, you hunt the shinies in the game itself, and those are the only Pokemon you actually catch. Um, because I did that, uh, what did I call it? The Shiny Pokemon Challenge or something like that when I played, um, a long time ago. Um, maybe, like, 10 years ago. Could have been longer than that, honestly. Maybe more like 12. Um, yeah, probably like 12. That sounds about right. And, um, and I end up with, um, <laughs> I did it twice, too. I know that's an exit over there, but I don't remember if it's a bad one. Oh no, that's totally the way forward. This is a dead end. All right. I remember now. If I can find an affordable Game Boy and a legit copy of Red or Blue. I did have more, but my parents got rid of them because they just enjoyed my suffering. Wow, Meryl. Okay, I'm gonna hit you with a physical instead, just to try and get this over with. Because, uh, steel's gonna get resisted. There we go. Holy crap. But yeah, it's a... It's a bummer. You know how, like, the Game Boy... It retailed at 50 bucks. So... Theoretically, you should be able to just get one at 50 bucks. It's a shame that they don't just, like, keep selling their stuff. You know, like, that's just a product. Like, why don't you just keep making your products? I know it costs money to continue making the product, and, like, your, your sales are gonna drop. But there's still, like, enough sales that you can justify keeping them. Since we leveled up there, I, um, am tempted to keep Toenail uh, up to snuff with the rest of these guys. I remember that looking completely different. On the original game. Boy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fight this guy anyway. And a Chan! Hamster finally caught a live stream. Welcome! We're having some uh, good time with body part Pokemon. Currently fighting this random sailor, Kent. He looks like a Kent. Kent has a Krabby. Cookie Cookie. Toenail, however, is gonna tackle. Toenail just did a number on Morty by uh, belly drumming and licking his way through um, Gengar. That was great. Vice Grip should do virtually nothing. And tackle. Uh, can't wait for Toenail to learn something better than this. Man. Oh, man, I don't know why. I, I misread Cameron's other uh, comment there. I saw GameStop instead of Game Boy. GameStop is, like, in a really bad state right now. I get a feeling, like, any day now we're gonna hear that GameStop's closing and it's done. It's, it's gonna be a blockbuster situation. Granted, if they do that, they're gonna have to have some sale clearance or, like, just clearing out their stuff, and I would be all over that. Probably drop, like, mm, I don't have a lot of money, but I would spend so much. Senate Krabby, uh, let's keep battling. Snorlax needs it. Senses like that that you just can't make up. Oh, my, my toenail. <laughs> Go toenail! Toenail, my toenail is taking down this crab very slowly. Just tackling it to its doom. Just throwing toenail clippings at it. Ah, oh, my toenail's covered in bubbles now. I do appreciate that little crab. Uh, uh. But yeah, yeah, um, GameStop not doing well right now. I'm actually, like, here, here. Here's an example of where I'd be, like, really concerned about GameStop. So, um... The Bayonetta uh, Special Edition pre-order. Bayonetta 3. You can pre-order, of course, on the Nintendo um, store page, supposedly. But the... Th <clears throat> Ooh! 
I think I wanted this. I think I wanted rest. I'm pretty sure that was one of my four moves on Snarlax. I wanna, I wanna check. I'm pretty sure, and if that's the case, I have to give up Lick. Which really stinks, because that's... Well, it got us through Morty already, and that was the main thing I was worried about. Um, I'm gonna check my notes. I had notes on, yeah, Pokemon's final moves. Snorlax, yep. Self-destruct, belly drum, rest, and then rock climb slash body slam. One of those two. Um, it's probably gonna have to be rock climb at the end of the game just to get me to trainer red, and then body slam for the rest of the time, because body slam is a better move than rock climb, but it's gotta go. Lick. Ugh. It's such a bad move. We gotta get rid of that. But the thing is, it was able to hit ghosts. So we have no more tricks on ghosts. But Toenail can rest. And that's incredible because now I can belly drum with no worries. It means no worries. So yeah, I was gonna say about blah 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 bayonetta. Yep, I was hoping it would stop me there. So bayonetta, say you, you pre-order Bayonetta Special Edition um, at a retailer, because you can actually do that at GameStop and at the Mindotto store. Um, and take it from me, who fought multiple times over the months, over the, god, the absolute debacle that was the Nintendo store screwing up. You know what? Let's do it. Let's try this. I'm gonna belly drum and rest. Ooh. Um, trying to get Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Special Edition. That was awful. Doesn't matter if he leers, because I just got everything that I wanted. He's doomed now. Fury attack. Doesn't matter. Alright. Um, so yeah, it was terrible. Take my word for it, you do not want to pre-order on the Nintendo site. But we didn't have a choice. That was the only way to get that special edition for Xenoblade. So, um... I, I, man I did manage to get one, by the way. Even though they, like, sold out, like, so fast. I managed to pay for one. Like, people were actually went through. So I did get one of those. Um, but... Like, doing it for Bayonetta would be a nightmare, and I would, like, I feel so bad for people who have to go through that. But the thing is, if you say, I don't want to do that because I just did it for Xenoblade, keep battling. Oh, we're going to destroy the sphere. I wonder if this is going to be a one-shot kill. Um, but yeah, say that you don't want to go through that and you go to GameStop instead because you have the ability to do it. Oh! You cannot stop this toenail. Toenail's, like, pulling it like a big old King Kong. And then he takes a, takes a break. Gets <laughs> back up. Keep battling. Um, but yeah, say say you pre-order it at GameStop, right? So you pass over the Nintendo one. You pay GameStop for it, but by the time Bayonetta 3 comes out, GameStop goes under and gives you a refund. They can do that. That can happen. And what if it does? What if it does, guys? I hate that idea. That's so terrible. Like. You fought for this pre-order, you, you did everything you were supposed to do, you paid for it and everything. Ugh, and everything still goes wrong. Ugh. Can you go out that way? I don't think so. I'm not positive. Can you go out that way? I don't want to risk it, I'm gonna go up. Maybe on the way back down we'll try it. Actually, no, I, I doubt it, because that right here, you couldn't line up and get out. Um... Snorlax isn't doing so hot right now, and level-wise he already hit 25, uh, which means he got one of his moves. Uh, what's his uh, XP at at the moment? Um, eh, only a thousand to go. Let's keep fighting with Snorlax. I really wish that I could just throw healing items at him, but it's such a waste. It's such a waste. I need them all, so we have to basically get through every environment with no heals. Sailor Terrell. Since in a poly world. Uh, mm, I can't really. Well, he's only got a poly world, so you know what? Um, tackle. Let's just try tackling. What's it do? Okay, good. That was what I was hoping. Maybe I'm gonna heal more than he heals, or it like equals out. Yeah, it, it's definitely healing more than he's dealing. Hope he doesn't get clipped. I uh, side note, I've been embroiled in Sunbreak for the past couple weeks. Yeah, I've been so. I was almost, like, I was almost about to get the special edition for Sunbreak and start playing from there, but, um, they didn't even include the base game with it, like, they had been for their previous, um, expansions, they just were, like, released the new cartridge, so instead it's, like, it's basically a DLC cartridge, but they're charging full price for it. That's so scummy. So scummy. 
Capcom, you can do better than that. You can do better. Happened to me, but at Target with Zelda Joy Cons. Well, Target didn't go under, but I guess they just refunded you. I've had that happen, the refund thing. Um, no kidding. Three times while I was trying to get the Samus Returns Amiibo set when that first came out. This is actually bad. Um, this is bad. We're gonna switch. Uh, ear or elbow? How about ear? Those Zelda Joy Cons look so cool, too. I did not, um, go for those. I have, um, four Joy-Cons, and I do not want any more, no matter how cool they look. Just because I just want to play with Pro Controller. I can't stand the Joy-Cons anymore. Even though, like, I love the idea. That's the thing. I love the idea, but I hate that they drift, and I feel like I'm slowly ruining them by playing them, and if you're constantly thinking about ruining what you're holding to play it, you're not enjoying your game. And that's what was happening to me. Like, uh... For example, I was playing Dark Souls, and, um, because Bamco is just stupid, they, um, they, well, it really could be FromSoft, I don't know who was the one who did this, but the, um, the button mapping on the Switch is backwards, A and B, and it's, it's basically like, it'll tell you to push A and you have to push B, and then you push A and push B, it's, it's Switch, so you have to go into your Switch's settings for the controller, remap the buttons on that particular controller, and call that one the Dark Souls controller on the right, so that whenever you're playing the game, it's correct. It's like, confirm is B, and, um, cancel is A, is what they mapped it to, and it actually says that, and you can't switch it. Like, the only thing in the button mapping in the main game that you can't switch, you have to do it on the Nintendo Switch. <sighs> Sounds like a Nintendo thing to me, but that is scummy. Uh, you mean the, the Monster Hunter thing? That's totally Capcom. That's 100% Capcom. Uh, send in Poliwhirl, you switch your Pokemon. Um, you know what? Let's switch back to Toenail. I think he can take this now. It was the mod shop that I was concerned about. Yeah, I've been thinking about making a video just talking about why I'm not interested in Rise at all. Um, but, you know, it's, it's I don't want to make a video complaining about something, and I'm not really going to be complaining about it. I'm just really just going to be saying, like, why I'm not interested. Why a game, like, just because a game makes you feel like, eh, I can skip that one. Um, it doesn't mean that I hate, hate it or anything. <clears throat> I still love Monster Hunter. It's just I'm playing so many other things that I really like right now. And playing Monster Hunter Rise just looks like, eh, in my opinion, Monster Hunter going in the wrong direction. Why was like that? I have my Zelda Joy Cons for over a year and I haven't had any drifting. Um, it's all based on how you play and what you play. And sometimes it's manufacturing. Some of the newer ones I hear are a lot better. They're built different. We got sick. He has prayer. Power for a wonderful pharmacy. She opens the door. Why didn't she just unlock the door to begin with? Anyway, now we can use the elevator. This is Finiotto. And the elevator only goes to one floor. I mean, it makes sense. It's... Why would you have an elevator in a lighthouse? I've never seen a lighthouse with an elevator. Is that... Is that nuts? I've never seen a lighthouse with an elevator. Maybe the lighthouses I've seen are all old. The perspective seems very wrong on these umbrellas. Like, very wrong. No. Um, so I'm gonna heal up, because that kind of beat us up big time. We're gonna surf our way down to uh, the next gym. Try and take down cha 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 I can get that rise at a really bad start, practically released half finished. Yeah, um, and then on, there's a lot of things. It's a lot of little things. See, like, it's on top of the fact that it also kind of seems like generations, but more so, which makes um, a, uh, a player like myself a little dissatisfied with it. This is the battle frontier. We have no interest in a place such as that. And we may now surf. So, um, away we go. I was gonna say, what actually should we do here? Is there anyone who we should send out front to deal with some water Pokemon? But, eh, let's hit him with some lax. Hit him with some, some lax. That's, 
Now you can join the final boss fight to help you release your hunter when you cap wasn't in the game actually. The final boss wasn't even in the game. I really wish they would just release their games finished, you know? Like, because otherwise, and here's the thing that happens, and it makes Monster Hunter look bad. Um, and this isn't even, like, my opinion. This is, like, uh, evidence that it makes Monster Hunter look bad. You go to game stores and you see the base versions of Monster Hunter games in the bargain bins for really cheap. And whenever you see, you know, a franchise in a bargain bin and it's a new game, it looks really bad. So... If, if they just finished the game to begin with and they had one really polished game, it would never touch that. And it would probably be full price continually. And it would probably sell better, too, because more people are going to understand what they're buying. They're not going to, like, be like, oh, well, we're aiming at whales now, just trying to get people to pay extra money for this. Stupid. It's a bad practice. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's some EA Activision BS right there. Don't do it. Just work on your game until it's done. Charge what you want for your game when it's out, I don't care. Like, charge 120 bucks for your game if you really think it's worth 120 bucks, but if you don't, then don't effectively charge people 120 bucks over the course of three years. That's not okay. And that's assuming they're not getting the extra DLC crap. Or Amiibos, or all that other stuff. That's really what I wanted. I wanted the Amiibo, and I wanted the uh, Steel Case. But then I was like, oh, you're not even gonna give me the base game with this, so I'm gonna pay, like, what, 90 bucks for your game. One game. No. I'm not buying your game. I'll tell you what I'll buy instead. I, I bought a ton of other games. The game was rushed. It was. And you can feel that because they were trying to get on the Switch as fast as possible. I think they realized, like, oh, wow, we shot ourselves but leaving Nintendo at the wrong time. And I, I understand that. They were probably bought her with the Wii U. Um, they hold the fault for kind of just releasing out of the base where I really finished uh, beyond a first beta test. Ultimate sadness. Oh, Bikini Girl Starfish. Uh, smack Bikini Girl Starfish. Almost missing its self destruct on Bikini Girl Starfish. Moving on. Oh, I, just in case you guys didn't get to see if you're showing up here later. I have new pearlers that are going to show up in the background of um, my uh, Playing With Myself video. This one is my uh, shiny shuckle. There's um, an Absol as well. Uh, it's just Pokeball over here, so that's no good for us. And a uh, shiny Rayquaza. Speaking of shinies, if I do find a shiny out here randomly, I am going to be able to catch it, but I think I'm not allowed to use it. I just have to like put it in the box, in the no-no box or something. Not the bye-bye box. <laughs> There's like an event no-no box. I'm not allowed to touch it. I don't remember the rest of the level ups or when, um, like, most importantly, Toenail learning Body Slam. I think it's like 30 something. Black Roy! Welcome to the stream. We are trying to get our butts down to Sinwood Island. At least I believe that's what it's called. In order to uh, get the next gym badge, uh, Toenail at the moment is leading the pack. As far as I can see, Sunbreak might have fixed a good bit of problems, but there are some flaws. They already released a patch to rebalance some monsters. I would honestly rather have a Monster Hunter game that is, like, super polished and, like, plays really well. Um, the the, the uh, difficulty curve is very smooth. Um, the customization feels balanced, and just everything in the game feels right, but there's only 15 monsters in the game. I would be willing to sacrifice so much just to have the game be balanced and play correctly. And I feel like they're just, like I said, they're going the generations route. They're trying to go quantity over quality lately, and that makes me very sad. Oh, War Turtle! I like War Turtle. Middle stage Pokemon are always uh, kind of a little forgotten because people are either like, oh, the cute little baby version, and then there's the ultimate powerhouse. But War Turtle's cool. He's a cool Pokemon. He's also quite strong. I'm gonna have to take him down with uh, several of these, but you know what? He doesn't seem to be able to deal any damage to me whatsoever, so I'm not really worried. What is last Pokemon gonna be? Am I fighting a male? 
I don't remember. Um, I'm in the camp then most... Oh, hello, DK! I'm looking at most games and game making decisions have declined after Iwata passed away. An amazing man really made game the next level of his life. Um, even if they're related to his decisions or not, I think, yeah, the industry as a whole was just a better place with somebody on top, like a top executive who was actually like a gamer at heart. I agree. Um, let's keep battling. You know what? No, actually, no, I should say no, because he got to 27. That's a good number stop. But I'll switch after this, so. Toenails at 27. We're going to try and get our, um... Well, that is a pretty good halfway point if I get him right here. Come on, Toenail. Come on, Toenail. Come on, Toenail. Come on, Toenail. Pry open that oyster. Snap that a confusion button. Uh, well, I'm upset War Turtle loses its loud tail slash ears when he evolves. Oh, yeah, the, um, the swirlies. I kind of wish they were going to do something with that, but it does make War Turtle very unique. So, I don't feel disappointed. More so, like, I just really like how War Turtle is unique. You know, kind of like how Charmeleon is red, but Charizard's back to orange. You know, it just kind of, like, makes them unique. If anything, Ivysaur is kind of boring because it's just the natural in between, you know? And War Turtle and Char Charmeleon kind of are a natural in between, but something about them makes them feel like they're I don't know, just different enough to be their own thing, and I really like that. Ivy Sword kinda has that, but just not as much. Uh, one thing I could hold somewhere over ten years is that there's not endless pages of quests. That honestly is like one of my least concerning qualms with Generations, though. Sure, it was irritating, but eh. it's definitely feeling genuine, though, specifically in the endgame. No thanks. No thanks. I, I honestly think World is one of the best Monster Hunter games because it's the least like Generations. It's so weird. Like, they made Generations, and I thought they were like, oh, we learned our lesson. Let's make a game like this. It's so much better. And it was. And then they went right back to making... Bad Monster What are you doing? Cut it out! You guys know better than this. What are you doing? Making Bad Monster Oh, well, still, there's plenty of great games out there. And when I was playing Monster Hunter, people were actually telling me, like, oh, well, it sounds like you really would like Dark Souls instead. And I was like, I don't know, I've never really played it. never had a chance to, because it was, like, what, PS3? Um, but since the remastered one, I was, like, trying to get my hands on it at one point. I was like, I don't want to play it on Steam. I'd rather play it on the Switch so I can pick it up and get it away from a baby, because the game doesn't pause. <clears throat> Though if I did play it on Steam, I could probably get a mod that pauses it, because that's important. I don't care if it's online. But granted, the online of that game is... Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to that game. And it really is, like, just a better <laughs> Uh, or at least, like, kind of a lot of what I wanted out of it. It's obviously not the same sort of game. Oh, that sucks. Protect just shouldn't be a move. It just wastes time. Maybe, I mean, there could probably be, like, a defend option. Like, a lot of RPGs have, like, a defend option, but don't have protect where you just take nothing. Uh, world had a unique theme to it, but the end game is too clear on what it wants you to use. Power Creep killed customization a lot, too. I don't know, in the end of, um, World, there's, or at least in Iceborne, as you're playing in Iceborne, the Power Creep is very, very gradual. If anything, it's, like, expertly gradual. Because, like, you can fight, like, the next five monsters, and they're all, like, on par with each other in terms of armor and weapons, and you just have to figure out which one skill-wise is going to be your best one to use. Confusion. At least I think. But still. I, I don't really care so much about the customization. I really just want, like, a really good fight. And that's kind of what they're killing. <laughs> they're killing, like, they're sacrificing the main game as in uh, exchange for just... It, it really is just a quantity over quality situation. That makes me a sad man. Just fought something, like, one step ago. Tentacular. She is still excited back there, so I guess she got her lunch. It's, uh, let me see. We're getting close to when she's gonna go get some. Um, I'm 
hoping that we're gonna be able to do two gyms. Two more gyms. Okay, Brute, 41. Is there anybody else over here? I'm just trying to make sure we fought all the trainers, because we're going to need our uh, Metangs at as high a level as possible, because the last gym we just fought, uh, they were already over our level. <clears throat> and I got a bad feeling that uh, what we're going to fight here is going to be worse, because Chuck only has two Pokemon, so they're probably, as those kind of trainers are, they're over-leveled. Um, let's see. I'm really hoping... Um, we'll I'm really just waiting for like the next Monster Hunter. The, like, I just because just I wasn't wowed with um, Rise doesn't mean that I don't really care. Eh, I guess it's exactly what it means. Oh, whirly pools. Don't got no whirly pools. But I'm fine with just getting one away from later. The only downside is I won't be able to review all of them, and that's honestly all that I really care about. Besides, even if I did play it, I wouldn't be able to make an episode's episodic series like I had done for the previous ones, just because, uh, of the little baby person who's trying to get into my office. He's trying to bust down the door. She just confused him instead. He's got better accuracy. <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's just way too many other games that I want to play with right now. Like, just way too many. My, my whole two playlist is so long, and I've played Monster Hunters before. I don't want to play one that, like, just looks okay. Just because it's the new one. and Rise were done by two different teams, so whatever the next big console game is, it should be like, well, that's what I want. Um, ooh, a PS5 Monster Hunter. Ooh, that would sell me so fast on a PS5. No kidding. Oh, man, I'd be all over that. Basically a World 2. Mm, yes. Though, if anything, I would actually want them to even take more of the gimmicky stuff out of the game. Like, take even more out. Get rid of even the Clutch Claw. Um, you know, even, like... Make it so base Dark Soulsy. That's really what I want. I just want to feel like this tiny, frail human with a stick trying to fight, you know, a, a polar bear. That's what I want. To me, that's like the ultimate high of the game. It's the overcoming and the challenge and fight of it. And it's got nothing to do with the rest of that stuff. The rest of that stuff is okay. It's really background to me. It's like stuff to do to prepare for getting back in there as a human, holding a stick, trying to fight a full game. Make it. That's what it's like. Uh, Team work on Rise, also worked on Frontiers, so it's a little over the top. Ah! That explains a lot, Cameron. <laughs> uh, keep battling. Because I find... Ooh, Frontier. Ooh. Like, Japan, you do your thing. I want nothing to do with that. Oh, boy. To be fair, it's like uh, Pokemon seems like they're in different teams right now, trying to make some like traditional RPGs, and then they made like a Legends game, which they better make more of, so that they can fix it up. Because honestly, like that game doesn't feel finished. Lucky <laughs> Battle, like it's a really great beta or a starting point, but it does not feel done. Pokemon Legends, I don't know. Maybe I'm in a minority there, but like at the beginning of the game, it's. The beginning of the game is freaking slow. It really is probably the most unbalanced RPG I've ever played in my life. But it was enjoyable. Just because I got to play around with it. I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. So we're at level 26 with Elbow. If I can get, um... I don't know if I'll get to 27. We'll probably get to 27 inside, uh... Um, they uh, even have Frontier's flagship in there. He's in. Just in. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. I, I've just kind of fallen back on Monster Hunter. I know I have tons of Monster Hunter stuff on my channel, but it's... I play it when I'm excited about it. You know, I play stuff when I want to play them. I don't play them because I'm being told to. It's a benefit to having a, a channel that has lots of, um... Subscribers, but YouTube won't show anybody that I'm either even streaming or recording videos or anything. Well, I guess there's two ways you can go down from here. I didn't think the world I went in this direction, but maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm not that close to where I thought I was. Uh, we're gonna fight some more trainers to try and get up to the point where. Ooh, wow! I didn't think I would kill it. 
horsey went down. Let's see. Let's send out a horsey. Oh, that again. That was awesome. Um, yeah, I, I've been more interested in a lot of other games. Of, of games that are just coming out. What am I excited about? Uh, mostly excited about Xenoblade 3. That looks like they realized everything that made Blade 2 a travesty, and they turned all of it around. And it's basically like taking the few good things that came out of Blade 2 and putting them into the cool stuff from Blade 1, bringing all that back, and then redesigning everything and tying the whole thing back together. And it looks Champion Red has entered the chat. Welcome, Champion Red. I'm I'm coming for you at the top of Mount Silver. It's just taking me a while. I need to somehow get through all of these trainers. Eventually, I'll get there. Because it was me or the game music really loud. Well, I asked you guys about that earlier. Darn it. I was hoping it wasn't that loud. It's a bummer. I've been trying to keep the audio at the right level this whole time, and you guys are saying, nope, it's good. Maybe when I go back and do edit, I, I'll try and pull the my voice up. It's kind of hard, though. It, it doesn't exactly work perfectly. All right, so he's a 27. Uh, Toenail's a 27. Let's get ear to 27. I didn't know I was actually, like, on pace level-wise in here. So we're going to have to level up a lot more for uh, walks. Um, let's go left. I think left's the wrong way. I don't remember. I just know we're trying to go south of here. See, I confused this route with um, uh, the same route that you ride uh, Mr. Briny and Pico um, on the uh, west side of Hoenn. It feels like the same to me, because you, like, stop at this one point uh, south, and the routes just, in my head, merge together into one thing. Oh, well. Yeah, the game's a bit loud. I wish I had known that earlier! Because I'd already recorded an episode out of here. I guess that's going to be a loud one. I'm going to try my best to uh, turn it down. Oh, I can I can work to the, to the side there. It's not the World Islands, is it? Because I, I want to make sure I'm going everywhere. 22 to 25. I wonder if I should hit him with a Zen headbutt. Hey, right, well. Yeah, there's probably Tentacruel out here as well. That would be really good. XP machines. How much XP am I actually getting here? 330. So, um, keep in mind, when I'm doing it in the Poke Walker, each one of those is a step. So that was like 330 steps. So this is faster than leveling up in the Poke Walker, but I am predominantly leveling up in the Poke Walker because I don't get to play very much. Like the last time you saw me playing this game, streaming, that was the last time I got to play this game. <laughs> that is how long it takes. So, in that time, I was able to level up my Pokemon, at least a bit. It really is like one level for one Pokemon a day. Um, Grind's definitely going to be real for red later. Shudders and Fear level 88 Pikachu almost one-shotting my Tyranitar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can make it through. So this looks like the World Islands. Oh, no, this is the freaking city. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. There's more trainers out there that we can deal with later when we want to... But for now, first, I think we just step in here. They give us the medicine. No, we gotta talk to the guy. Oh, I see. Right, you had to talk to Jasmine first. I remember this now, because I've tried doing this, where I'd, like, ah, I'll do that later, and I'll just bring her the medicine. Um, only offered in an emergency. Yep, secret potion. Strong. I don't know what's wrong with that amp for us, but here you go. Secret potion. Alright, so we're gonna get ready and try and challenge this dude. Um, I remember he had some really powerful Pokemon, so hopefully, hopefully, we are strong enough to take him down. But yeah, the grind is going to be insane for Red. I'm more than likely going to have a level 100 team by that point, and I still don't think I'm going to be safe. Like, this is going to be like Final Fantasy levels of hard, where, oh, she gives you fly, I think. Now, see to get here, that must have been hard. But it's much easier to put a new fly. You can't use fly with this gym badge. If you be the gym leader, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. That's it. So, she's the one who gives you fly. I do remember that much. Let's save. Because we did not mess anything up. In case I do, I will have to reset the game. And we're going to get ready and record. Hopefully, the audio is okay now. 
Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Mom, and you guys are joining me for another episode of the Pokewalker Challenge, and we have just saved as we made it to Cinewood, and we are going to challenge this new gym. We are also going to be heading back with um, the Secret Potion in order to revive um, Jasmine's um, Azumarill, or no, 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 Ampharos that's on top of the uh, lighthouse. I don't know why I said Azumarill. And um, here we go. That will put her back in her gym, so we can challenge that gym next time. So we had to do a lot last time. Uh, like, between episodes, we went up and down the whole um, uh, lighthouse area, fighting the trainers and surfing to get down here on a Pikachu, by the way. And um, we tried leveling up ear and elbow, so we can get to a point where we can hopefully take these fighting-type Pokemon. I really don't know if this is going to work out. This might be our first gym that we have legitimate problems with. Granted, I still have two Pokemon who are super effective against them. As long as we're fast enough, we're gonna be all right. Actually, if they keep doing Focus Punch, Black Belt Yoshi, Wahoo! If they keep doing Focus Punch, we should be able to nail them every time. I think. Do you have to use a physical attack to stop Focus Punch? I don't remember. Words are useless. I don't remember if you need a physical to get focus punch. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> guys in the chat are saying, like, I'm gonna have to walk so darn much for level grinding to beat Trainer Red, because now that we're seeing that even these gyms are starting to pose a challenge, um, yeah, I'm getting a little concerned. I'm starting to legitimately get concerned. Oh, shoot, watch out, focus energy. Not the same thing. Another confusion knocks him out. Okay, good. Ear is at level 26. So elbow is at 27, as is toenail, uh, except there's really no need for toenail being leveled up because toenail is not gonna help us in the fighting type gym. I'm sending him a choke. Let's keep battling. Hopefully we can do this. Um, hamster say bam at one point. Bam! But do I say bam a lot? I know people point. But bam! <laughs> right there. See, I get you bam. Right when he bammed that macho. Oh, come on! Macho flinched. Ooh! Confusion. Bam. <laughs> I guess I do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, currently grinding, trying to take on Trainer Red. Seriously, the level jump from blue to red is ridiculous. Yes, the, the level jump from Trainer Blue to Trainer Red is insane. I still think that Trainer Red is the most powerful, like, trainer that you can possibly fight in any of the Pokemon games. So I believe here you want to get this guy from behind. <laughs> So, um, Trainer Red, I'm st I know we've talked about Trainer Red so much, but that's how we beat this. And this is really a big plan. How are we going to get all the way through this game with this team and beat Trainer Red? It's not even like I chose a team to defeat Trainer Red specifically with. I, I grabbed a team that I was like, okay, we can just win with this team. This is just going to be a good team. Ow! Good, it landed. Oh, no. Oh, um, I might survive a fire punch. I might. Mock punch, you did a stupid. You did a stupid. I'm so glad. Okay, so ear is still alive, but boy, that freaking hurt. I, uh, ear is not quite at level 27. I kind of feel like, I want to keep up this thing where I don't leave to heal throughout the gym, just as like a test to see how powerful we really are. If you actually just turn this off, you can go fight the gym later right now. Turned it with pure might. Um, can I run underneath and fight the dude now? No. I gotta go this way. Let's still fight all the trainers. We want all their delicious XP. But Chuck I am worried about. Chuck, from my memory, has only two Pokemon, but it's a Primate and a Polyrath. Polyrath we could take down with Pikachu, but I don't think he leads with the Polyrath. I think he leads with the Primate. Uh, Zen Headbutt? Cry Chop out. I don't feel safe fighting with ear. Come on, ear. Go, 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 go. Uh, what do you got? A manky again. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hit him with one more of those things. I don't think he can kill me from here. The other one didn't quite have that strength. Party chop, come on. Yes. Yes. Boom. Come on, level me up, level me up. Give me that delicious XP. Come on. Mm -hmm. ah! Come on, please. Long Prime Ape! Oh, shoot. You know what? Um. Switch. 
Yeah, I can't do this. I'm so darn close, but Elbow's gotta do it. All right, Elbow. Hua, hua, hua. If you outspeed this, since speed's gonna matter. You guys were picking on me saying, speed, Metagross isn't fast. You don't need to worry about the speed. I was still slower here. But yeah, if, if uh, Trainer Red's team is in the 80s, and it's like the mid to high 80s too, then how are we going to actually beat Red when my Pokemon can only get to 100? I mean, I'm probably worried over nothing, but the healing, like when I remember fighting Trainer Red the first time, it was the healing that got me through it. And like, if you take healing out of any RPG, you just made it really hard. Hello. Oof, the pounding waterfall right onto my head. Arg, why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. Rawr, my, I want to be pounded on from the from the head. From water, just water, exclusively water. It was consensual water, pounding on my head. Chucky. Let's see if I remember this correctly. hoo Mr. Chucky. Mr. Chucky only has two Pokemon and leads with Primate. So maybe, maybe this guy did a number on me back in the day so that I remember very well what he did to me. Zen Headbutt. Double team. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zen Headbutt, please. Double. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Please kill him. Please. Okay, I'm going to use Confusion from here on. Unless he heals. He didn't. Tightening his focus. Confusion. Oh, my God. No. Oh, critical focus punch, are you kidding me? Okay, elbow was just basically one shot. Ear is dead. Uh-oh. Um, 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 um. Um, if only I had rain dance on Gluteus, I could have rain dance thunder to guarantee that it lands, and then thunder again would definitely kill the, the polyrath. Um, you know, um, Assuming he's pulling a focus punch, I'm gonna use ear. I know it sounds risky, but I'm gonna use ear. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just confusion. All right, I'm tightening its focus. Yes. Boom. Go ear. Ear's got this. Woohoo! <sighs> okay. Ear got to level 27 as well. That makes me feel a little bit better about how zero points in speed. <laughs> All right. Checks about to send a polyrath. Let's not do this. Um, instead, Maximus, this is your time to shine with some sparkly bazits. Uh, who's holding the light ball? Who's holding the light ball? I don't think it's you. Thunder! I missed. Of course I missed. Surf. Ah! Thunder! Thank you! Please die. Please die. Please hold the light. I am not holding the light orb. I gave it to the wrong one. Focus punch lost his focus, couldn't move. Um I am faster. Thunder! Come on! I can never land that! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um, Maximus fainted. Um Gluteus, this is all you. I, I've never... By the way, I have no revives. There's no way to revive a Pokemon in my game. Like, I just cannot do it. Um, Thunderbolt! Now, he's got the Light Orb, so this is gonna destroy him. Yeah, so that's done. Of course, and I had to use Gluteus. I didn't want to level up Gluteus. Gluteus, you shouldn't have that 1,000 XP. At least somebody has it. At least somebody has it, and we won. That was a mess. That was a mess. <laughs> You're worthy of the storm badge. Receive the storm badge from Chuck. Oh my god. That was, that was a mess. Let your Pokemon fly to any city you've been to. Good, so uh, Maximus can now sail us all around the place. So they fly on Maximus, TM1. Focus Punch can't use that either. So yeah, I was trying to put those in my box and it's just not possible. Lost is lost, now I'm going to train 24 hours a day. So you you're not gonna eat, you're not gonna sleep, you're just gonna train, you're gonna exhaust yourself, and you're gonna die. And she forces you to take fly, that's interesting. 
Oh, and yeah, a little update here from uh, Kat saying, Red's team in Heart Gold is Pikachu level 88, which he does lead with. Um, and there's also a perpetual hail up there, unless you can stop it. So my plan is to try and use um, my Raichu at one point to make it rain instead. Rain dance at any point. I'm pretty sure any weather ability will stop the hail permanently. So it's not like going to start hailing again after it's done raining. It's just going to stop hailing. So um, it's not really going to be an answer to Pikachu, but they're level 88 Pikachu. Uh, Venusaur, level 84. Charizard, level 84. Blastoise, level 84. Lapras, level 80. Which, by the way, if you were playing Gold and Silver, is an Espeon. And Snorlax, level 82. <sighs> Elbow's feeling better. Elbow wants to come with me. Hi, Elbow. I'm so happy to have you joining me on my team. So we do have the medicine. I don't know if there's anything else I can actually do here. Granted, I can't talk to anybody, so probably not. Um, oh, that leads to the Safari Zone. This is where I did my horrible hunt for my shiny shuckle from Cute Charm. Um, oh yeah, you're actually supposed to also go, there's a, there's a doggo. But you can't catch that doggo. He's gonna run around. <sighs> well, regardless. This dude's gonna talk to us, and we now have to move up to the next town and get ourselves the next badge. And this one, of course, we can now add to our little collection on our hat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Pokewalker Challenge. Boop. And of course, we are going to still keep going, guys. I'm just recording as we go. Oh. Hold on, he's battling us. Hold the phone, changing my mind. That was actually a short episode anyway. I forgot that uh, Eustace, Eugene, uh, what's his name? Eustace, Eustace, stupid dog. Is it Eustace? <laughs> to battle your trainer to just earn Suicune's respect. Let's battle now. I totally forgot they added this and this guy wants to fight you. So um, here we are with a bonus surprise fight that I completely forgot about. Mystery Man Yusin sends out Drowsy, and we are starting with Elbow. This is actually good, so we can hit him with Steel, and he'll have nothing to stop this. And he can't hit us with Psychic. Ooh, man, he's actually got a really strong, uh, really strong, <laughs> I was going to say a really strong Elbow. He has a really strong Drowsy. I'm going to try Metal Claw, maybe he'll get an attack up. Critical hit, which at least it's dead. I think the attack up would happen before it would tell us that. I'm not positive. It's Yusin. Whatever. Yusin! What kind of name is that? Sending in an electrode, you switch Pokemon. You know what? Um, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, electrode. I'm gonna hit you with some psychics. Well, hopefully, this will do. Ow! And I'm peril. Are you kidding? That didn't happen for me. Seriously. Well, we're definitely gonna be slower. If he hits me with another thunder. Okay, now he missed. I need one more. I don't even think I can get away with that. Am I even gonna hit? You'd have to miss, and Thunder's gonna prop. Yeah, take us out. There goes Elbow, but it's fine. I think we still can keep a goings with my ear. Ear. Yeah. Go ear. Listen closely. He also has another Pokemon after this, too. I completely forgot this was a thing. You know, you could have fought this before the gym leader, right? Or does, he, does the Suicune appear there after the gym leader? Questions that I ask myself rhetorically, and I know no one's actually going to answer them live for me, but they will answer them in the video after I've already figured it out for myself. So yes, he's forever Eustace to me. Eustace! St he's chasing Suicune, stupid dog! <laughs> Oh, it's Courage the Cowardly Dog if you're, um, too young. Or, or too old. I won't judge. But I'm right in the middle. I'm too boring. That's what I am. I'm too, I'm too 30. There we go. So, Cursed will hopefully do nothing, because that was the end of the round. Because I assume he cursed himself, I wasn't really paying attention. Ugh. Eustace! I really want to see Eustace from, uh, um, I was going to say Curious George. Um, uh, 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 Courage the Cowardly Dog, dressed up like Eustace 
from this game. See you around. I think that's the only time you have to fight him. Makes too much sense. Why can't he be named Eustace? It actually is a man's name. I don't know what Eucene even is. But anyway, there. You know what? Now I'm going to weirdly play the outro to the video that I already recorded. Because <laughs> we can make this even weirder. <laughs> Alright. Um, Water Dog is there before fighting the gym. Right when I turned the video off. I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> Alright. We should heal again. Um... Uh, hamster, do we make your videos more entertaining or more clickbait? I don't know how you could make it more clickbait. You think you're so great, people are like, oh yeah, we're gonna click on this video. Because I can't wait to hear the people who watch this guy talking about Pokemon. I have absolutely no idea how you can make it clickbait. I'm trying to think of it in my head, so. No, you make it good. The hail is especially bad since this Lapras knows a blizzard. Hey, yep. It is. So that's why I want to shut that down. Um, ideally, I'll be able to, like, not have um, anybody who can take advantage of Rain Dance out while I do it. So hopefully if I could kill, like, um, the Pikachu and get him to send Charizard out. So maybe use, like, Metagross on Pikachu. Um, there is a way to get Earthquake out of the Pokewalker, but it's stupidly hard. I'm really not expecting it to work. Oh, there's also more trainers up this away to the left, but honestly, right now, I think our priority, aside from putting a new badge on our hat, is um, to go up Challenge Jasmine. Because after we challenge Jasmine, um, I can basically like call that and finish it as another video. Is there another big uh, trainer battle that we can take advantage of in that video? Kind of like how we just did with Eustace! Yeah, yeah, Red, I am plotting your demise for basically, what, like 200 hours? That's what I'm going to do with my life. You 13-year-old boy standing on top of a mountain ominously, don't judge me. Pretty sure he is just 13, too. Isn't that just bizarre? 13-year-old <laughs> kid. Um, the hail has saved me many times against his sleeping Snorlax, though. That is true. Both Blastoise and Lapras have Hydro Pump, I think. See, that's what I'm scared of. I don't want Lapras or Blastoise to be out while I'm using Rain Dance. Um, do we make your videos more entertaining or not? I think they're more entertaining with you guys here, and I appreciate it. Um, I am going to quickly grab our next badge, because we're actually doing so well. You know what? Uh, Time-wise, I'm going to grab the next two. What if we actually can manage to get all the way over to the right and beat the Ice-type dude? You never know. Actually, I'll grab them all. Why not? Here we go. Okay, so um, the the steel badge is basically the boulder badge, but with no lines in it. Lame. Um, get sunny day or rain dance or same storm. Oh yeah, I have rain dance. It's gonna go on my surfing Pikachu. So that's the idea. So thunder doesn't miss and surf does more damage. Um, the icy badge, whatever that one's called, and uh, the dragon dudes badge, whatever that's called. By the way, those are from the Pokemon trading card game from, like, the 90s when they actually did cool events. Uh, uh, maybe think about running a weather move to cancel out Blizzard? Oh, can't, can't, you guys don't listen to me! I've been saying this stuff for a long time. You know what, uh, while... Nah, I was gonna say while we're here, I can go to the Safari Zone, but what good is the Safari Zone? It does nothing for us. I mean, think about it. It does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Maximus, fly! So yeah, is there any other battle I can do up um, in that region? Where did you get those badges? It's funny how I answer your questions now before you ask them. Because I just answered your questions before you asked them. The champion feels defeated? Um, I don't know. Even with level 100 team, I 
feel uh, a little worried because I can't really heal. Not as efficiently as Red can with uh, four full restores. He doesn't have a revive just like I don't either, but still. Um, so, I don't really know another fight that we can get through up there, but that's about it. Unless I was like filming us getting through another area, like getting here over to the Safari Zone just because it's like higher level people. But there's really no need. Uh, Battle Frontier is not helpful. Once we beat Olivine, the deal is to fly back to Ecruteek and then try and make it through the cave to get to Mahogany. Um, POV, anybody in the Safari Zone, uh, let catch a bunch of new Pokemon. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna try... I was hoping there was, like, another big fight or something I could do. Oh, I know you can challenge... Oh, shoot. You know, I bet we're holding another hold item. Bunch likes. What you got there? Super potion item. Take. Thank you. Okay. Um... I say we just, at least for now, fly back to, um, Olivine. Uh, can you beat Jasmine? Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat Jasmine. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's one fight for the video, but can we get a second? I don't know what the big second thing could be. There's... Oh, you know, well, let's, let's actually start the episode by going up the lighthouse with the medicine, um, to get Jasmine. And Lyra's calling us. I'm gonna get her stopped by going in and out of here. Um, I only caught my Tyranitar out as far as unsurprisingly was a big, uh, brain play against Red. You know, um, what's kind of, like, a shame is I wish that they didn't give you Larvitar in there. Um, because I feel like they made the game a lot easier with the Pokemon that they give you in the Safari Zone. There's like, so many. Um, it's still cool that he's there. I still love Larvitar, but I really liked that he was, like, this special thing that you could only get in, um... Mount Silver and only at a really low level and you had to work really hard to get him to be super powerful and then when you did he was like a titan. I don't know and you kind of kill that when you can start with him, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I've been disenfranchised to Larvitar after all this time too, so whatever. Alright, so let's do this. Hello Internet, I'm Amster Bomb, and you guys are joining me for another new episode of the Pokewalker Challenge and we have just gotten our fifth badge and today we aim to get our sixth by defeating Jasmine, but the only way to do that is actually to go up here into the lighthouse and bring her this medicine that she's going to need for this Ampharos. Um, last time we had the option to go towards the Safari Zone and level up that way, but chose not to in favor of trying to get more episodes recorded sooner, so our levels have not really increased by much. We will see if we're actually able to defeat Jasmine. I'm not sure if I have much of a plan? Um, honestly, my best shot might be with Gluteus um, to take down Steelix with Surf, but the thing is, we're going to be weak to ground, and that thing's probably going to use Magnitude, so I'm expecting to get destroyed, but if I have Light Ball, I just might be able to pull it off? I really don't know. Um, I haven't been giving... Um, yeah, and I can't pick up that Pokeball. I know it's probably driving people crazy. I can't pick up the items, but it's the way I have to play the game. Um, I don't know what else I could try. Um, Snorlax isn't going to do any good. He's going to be resisted the entire time. Um, my Metangs will be resisted. I really do have to fight. Well, my Dragonair. My Dragonair could do it. Who's in the Pokewalker right now, by the way? Um, and Warden Bubba wants to talk to me. Oh, hi, it's Wormbone! People can only call me if they forcefully gave me my number. Ugh. How'd I get, like... Uh, yeah, that was mine. An entire one of my hairs stuck in my mouth. No, 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 don't call anybody. Don't call anybody. <sighs> Alright. So, I am going to attempt... Attempt... To beat Jasmine. I really don't know if this is going to work out without our Dragonair. Dragonair, by the way, is at a super high level. <laughs> Um, let me see, like, level, uh, like, 37 or something like that. Um, it's, like, just about to learn Dragon Rush. Honestly, if I could get it up to levels, um, in here I would, but the thing is, it's gonna need, like, 8,000 experience to do that. Leveling up Dragonair, as you know, leveling up some Pokemon is just, like, harder than others, and that's why I have, like, some of them I'm preferring to keep in the Pokewalker over other ones. Here we go. What do you want? 
Knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leaders. This is a separate matter. Go for it. What? Are people just, like, rooting me on? That's lame. I want to fight. But, speaking of which, uh, Gluteus with the light bulb. You're going up front. I know this is weird. But, yeah, I'm going to go with a level 38 Pikachu. Fight me. Fight me. Giggle, I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. Same you show the sun and Jasmine. Good luck. Come on! This is going to be the shortest episode ever! <laughs> but it's going to be brutal. Thank you for your help with the lighthouse. This is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Clang, steel type. Do you know about the steel type? They are very hard, cool, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Oh, dear. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Okay. Just two Magnemites and Steelix. I could have lain down a Rain Dance first. That's what I should have done, but I didn't teach him Rain Dance just yet. Because we're waiting on learning Thunder at like 45 or something like that. So, Surfs are my options. Please one-shot it. Oh, yes! Oh, the Light Ball's doing so much. Okay, so the Magnemites are just gonna go down. Yeah, the Magnemites are going down. What about the Steelix? That's what I'm scared about. Oh my god, this is gonna be the shortest episode ever. I never thought this was gonna work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. If it's really this bad, I'm gonna try and put something else like Lake of Rage or something in this video. I really can't make it this short. Okay, keep battling. It's gonna be like a five minute video. <laughs> You're like, thanks for watching, everybody. That was fun. Probably tempered steel, maybe rusty by other things like this. Oh yeah, you say that, but uh, what if it gets wet? What if it gets wet? Mm -hmm. Oh! I've never one-shot that Steelix! Oh my god! Gluteus! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, you're a better trainer than me, but skill of guidance. Oh my god! I got the mineral badge from Jasmine. Oh my god! With that badge, all Pokemon included level 70 will obey you without question. Good lord! What TM? You used nothing. You didn't even get a turn. That was the absolute most destructive fight we've ever had with a gym leader yet. I don't think even... Did even Falconer get a move off? I think even Falconer got to attack. She didn't do anything. Wow, Maximus, you can just fly. Um... I don't even know. Here I am flying on my Pikachu. Whee! Wait, hold on. No. Go Pikachu. No, no, it's true. Okay, now we're better. We're here. So from this point, I think we're just going to try and go to the right. Wow. Wow. Okay, she got decimated. That was actually kind of awesome. I'm gonna try now and go to like Lake of Rage or something. We gotta turn this into an actual episode. I, I can't believe we destroyed that. But still, we actually have a ways to go here. Um, we can just surf our way across. No need to deal with the um, Mount Mortar, that cave. The sucky cave. Oh, um, I do not have um, my uh, Furret, who can use Cut right now, and that's how we can actually get another one of those interactions with Suicune below us. I'll just have to remember to go back and do that later. I'm gonna keep um, Gluteus out front right now, because at this point, Gluteus is actually really close to leveling up. There's no sense in putting him in the walk later. So, um, hopefully we'll be able to get enough XP to get Lute Gluteus right up to level 39. Yeah, that would have been a four minute video, that's awful. <laughs> Suicune time. I, I would, uh, but I can't. I can't cut. Uh, can Munchlax cut? Munchlax might be able to cut. Uh, let me check real quick. Rock smash, cut, use, you'll... Mm -hmm. Ah, unable! No, I'm not giving that the ear or elbow. No. Come on, he's got claws! He can do it. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to come back later with Furret. Bye, Suicune. I mean, luckily we don't have another fight with Suicune, so it's not a big deal. I really don't mind. Um, let's fight this fisherman who is in a terrible position right now. Let me demonstrate that I have the power! Well, he has the power! Will you turn animations off? I did. Oh, on. Um, when we do, like, maybe, uh, you know, Trainer Red, I will have them on. Because that's gonna be so intense, I don't want to turn them off for that. 
but in some instances like this where we're just like trying to get through to certain areas, nah man, come on, come on, come on! Maybe we can, now I'm not gonna get two gyms in one battle, or one video, that's a little much. <laughs> like, we're just destroying the game. Um, Alright, Gluteus is level 39, which means I can switch. Oh no, he's already defeated. That's all, that's all you got? That's all you got, man. Okay, so there's my badge that I managed to put on in that interim. There we go. We are totally um, cranked up on power right now. Give me your number. Just give me your phone number. <laughs> that was quote exactly what he said. Just give me your phone number. Okay, so now uh, Gluteus switch. Go right back to the back. And if anything, actually I want Toenail up front. I'm going to level one of those up. I'd actually prefer to work on Toenail for a bit. <laughs> God, my... Hey, this is my secret place! Get out, outsider! Maybe, maybe somebody can stop me. My, my rampage up to the Lake of Rage. Oh, oh, you have a lot of, like, playing stuff to do at this point in the game, don't you? I don't remember where you actually go next. I think, um... I don't... Can you fight Bryce? I don't remember if you're able to just, like, go fight Bryce now, or you have to wait till later. Because I know that, um, the rocket hideout is a big deal. Maybe they don't let you in until the rocket hideout thing is taken care of. I don't remember. When I get there, I'll try and go in the gym, but I doubt it'll work. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Oh man, yeah, that was... More than likely, there's gonna be a four minute video. I mean, I'm still just trying to get over to the right. I don't want to cutting through this just to try and jump my way over there in video time, but I don't know what I'm gonna add. There you go, toenail. Yum yum. That guy dead. All right, so just a bunch of uh, with Nidorino, Nidorino, dead, dead things. Uh, does anybody think it's weird that your Pokemon are level 45? And, wait, that if your Pokemon are level 45 and above that, you can complete all of Johto's leaders just fine. Um, well, it's kind of hard to get to that level though, and also the Johto leaders is really just the first half of the game, so that sounds fair. A Digla Dig. Tackle, smackle, magnitude nine, and that's how little it did. That's that is sad. Where's all this hair coming from? This stupid head of mine making hair. Go toenail, go toenail. What else you got? Uh, a geo dude. Oh, that I actually won't be able to fight very well. But my ear can. Um, seems low to me. Well, it's the fact that you're eventually going to be going into the 80s in this game. Like, they're trying to get your curve right. But yeah, I did think that this one, the gyms, probably should have, like, scaled faster. Maybe, like, the people fighting with their Pokemon should have scaled faster. But as a kid, it was, like, a very approachable, easy to learn, like, team swapping out kind of game. So, I don't know. I, I think it's okay. Uh, keep battling. Because this is still, like, an early, very approachable um, RPG. Versus, like, um, Magnitude 9. Ow. Super Effective did nothing. Uh, when the first time you take on Lance, he and he only has a level 50 Dragonite, it kind of gives it away that you're only halfway through the game. Yeah. Well, you say only, but that level 50 Dragonite is also really scary. <laughs> Um, I forget what he said he wanted to learn. Um, Pursuit? Boy, you learned some bad moves. <laughs> I mean, it would be a different type, but... I don't need that. <laughs> I really don't need Dark. I don't know what Dark would do me. That having Stab wouldn't. Alright, so now we're finally in Mahogany Town. And, yep, as I thought, there's a guy standing in front of this place. Have you seen the guy with the black cape has been doing back and forth in the Lake of Rage and instead of railways trying to run into the crazy guy with like a tinfoil hat there just telling us all sorts of nutso stories. And I guess we do have to get up to the top of the Lake of Rage. So I'm going to attempt to get up there, fight some other trainers with my big fat fatty, and uh, find whatever this mysterious Pokemon is up there. Oh, I have to defeat the Red Gyarados. I have to defeat the Red Gyarados. Did I, um... I don't remember ever killing intentionally killing the Red Gyarados, but if you do, you actually get given the, um, uh, the, the Red Scale item, so maybe I should just kill the Red Gyarados instead of capture it? Because I can't catch it. I'm not allowed to. 
unless it was a random wild shiny, which of course it's a wild shiny, but it's like a guaranteed one. So, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to kill it. Let me see what the internet says about that, as we're slowly getting there after our complete slaughter of Jasmine's gym. I didn't even remember that she didn't even have anybody to fight her. About to send in a Zubat. Nope, this is fine. This is good. Oh man, my Dragonair could have... I feel like it was actually going to be harder had I used Dragonair and not my Light Ball Surfing Pikachu for that battle. That was absurd. So, at the top of this, um, I don't think Lance fights you just yet. You fight Lance way later. I think you only actually fight him at the um, championship. Uh, about to send in Sand Slash. Fine. Um, get the red scale to trade it. Well, I know you get the red scale. I'm pretty sure you get the red scale when you defeat the, um, uh, the, what's his name? Gyarados, anyway. So you catch or defeat, you still get a red scale. Also, I'm not allowed to get the XP share. Keep that in mind, Black Boy. Getting the XP share and accepting an item is not allowed. So I would just have a useless key item, the red scale, sitting there, and I would not be allowed to access the ability to turn it into the XP share. That is cheating. Well, to answer my questions, I was going to ask if you can catch the shiny Gyarados in this challenge. I'm not supposed to. Can I please hit him? Because, um, if I find a random shiny, I didn't really make a rule for that. Though I would say, like, I can catch it and just box it and just, like, trade it to another game or something. But here, I don't know. I don't know. We're finally going to have to confront that today. Shut up, Lyra. Um, oh, so yeah, they charge you money if you want to go through there to the right. Or you can just run this way and fight a Pokemon and get a trainer, which is what we wanted anyway. Alright, so, and money, actually money's meaningless to us in this game, so we really should have just gone the other direction, but I want to fight the trainers anyway, so let's at least challenge Lady McSquishiny, McTiffany. Great, I just realized, like, it takes a long time to fight through and do all the uh, Team Rocket stuff. Um, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a while. I, I might not stream all of that. When I'm finally done with it, I might blast through the next two gyms, because then all we'll have to do is uh, fight... Um, the ice gym, and then get through the ice area, uh, beat the dragon gym, and then get through the dragon's den, right? So, that'll probably be our next two episodes in here. 28, there you go, Toenail. Toenail wants to learn snore, but, mm, nah. Well then, if, if this were, um, give up on snore. If we're talking like Legends style, where like you learn a move and you can change it later, yes, I would eventually want it. No, no, keep the old moves. Well then, should this Pokemon give up on the Snore? Give up on, oh, sleep, he's learning Sleep Talk as well. Um, yes, give up on Sleep Talk, because one of them could be Explosion. Or, it, I wish it was Explosion, it's Self-Destruct. No, 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 no. All right, so, moving on, oh my god. Hi, like Clefairy, aren't they so cute? I want to be friends and talk about Clefairy. Uh-uh. Well, tell me if you ever want to talk about Clefairy. I don't. Okay. I love you, Hamster. I mean, it's been such a while since I could catch a uh, live, but I'm glad I am here. Ethan, welcome back! I am glad to have you here as well. Um, no, he can't use it at all like that, Black Boy. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cheating, unfortunately. And, um, as much as a cheater that I am... Actually, I'd... I, I was saying that like as a self-deprecating joke, but I can't even really think of an instance. If anything, I make games harder on myself. <laughs> I, I reverse. Like this. I, I make them worse. <sighs> okay, kid, how, how about you? Hey, do you have a rare Pokemon? I have several. <laughs> My Pikachu knows Fly. I have another one that knows Surf. I have a Snorlax that knows Self-Destruct. And then I have two Metangs and a Dragonair. Do you want to go? <laughs> I have a stupidly rare team. Um, going after this, I don't remember how many other people are up here, but I think all we really are trying to do is like get Lance to go south and get into that uh, building, find the secret hideout. I just need Reno. I just keep going. Find the secret hideout, and then from there, I'll you just have to call the episode because it starts getting really long and like tedious. We'll also have to heal as well, make sure we can get through the whole thing. Oh, how are we gonna get through the whole thing? 
Because I'm thinking the Pokemon Center, of course, in there. I think there's, like, a healing zone inside. Like, deep enough, there's, like, this little orb you can stand in. Or am I thinking of, like, another point in another game? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for joining, Cat. Yeah, have a good day. Hopefully we're going to kill this Reno real quick. You know, I wonder if I actually could put everything I had into it and try and somehow beat Lance's Dragonite at level 50 right now. Would I have a chance? I highly doubt it, but there's a possibility. Can't, you can't discount the possibility that I might be able to do it. Maybe I'm just over cocky here from how we destroyed Jasmine. Why does everyone want my freaking number? You're definitely going to regret it. <laughs> Lance heals you midway. That was it. Yeah, you do get a heal in there. Giraffe rig. So I've still been wondering, like, if I run into a random shiny. Um. Oh, uh, my my pickup is probably also going into effect. I more than likely have an item on my uh, Munchlax in the back of the party. Um. But yes, uh, if I find a shiny randomly throughout the game, I guess I, I yeah I, I'm not allowed to add it to my party. I have to catch it, put it in a put it in a bag, doesn't or like put it in the PC. I'm not allowed to use it. Um, let's switch to try and steal. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Wow. Normally it's like three encounters or three battles, and it will have something for you. Oh, I see. So that's all the area you would have skipped. Hey, kid. <laughs> Weirdo. I've only got like a few um, tackles left, and we're gonna have to switch out Snorlax with somebody else. So uh, probably gonna go for the Mad Tanks because um, those are the ones I've been like planning on like trying to level up like in game. And then with the Poco Walker, lately I've been working more on Dragonair because its XP gain is absurd. Hmm. This isn't good. Um, you know, if it really comes down to it, I can always self destruct. But then nobody gets XP, so I'd have to like switch into self destruct. Oh shoot. Tailness attack fell. I'm not gonna kill this thing. We gotta switch. So how about Maximus? Cause um Gluteus actually leveled up today. I can't believe that. Oh, he's at level 40. Doesn't he get thunder at like like 47 or something? That's basically like seven more walks with him, and I'd be set. Thunderbolt, because that doesn't miss. Well, it's far less likely to miss. Yeah, um, hmm. I almost have a Raichu. Cause I've been waiting to use my Raichu this whole time. Then I won't have to worry about, like, moving the light ball back and forth. Because as of right now, I'm fighting with Maximus, and it's not going to do me much good. Hey, kid. Fight me. I should not have done that. I, I'm, That's another rule I have. Don't talk to the people, because they just might give me something. I want to walk in front of them and see if they want to fight that. Whoa! Um, a level 20 Nidoking. That's, that's me in Pokemon Red and Blue. That's me in Pokemon Red and Blue. You know, King Focus Energy, please at least do a quarter of his HP. Uh, yes, as long as he doesn't have a berry. You know, King Double Kick, ow, ow. Ooh, that one crits. Hit two times. Tackle. Yes! Please don't double kick and crit twice. Poison Sting should do very little. Tackle. Boom! There you go, toenail. Yeah, don't kick my toenail. Ugh, I have gross, bad stories about toenail. Uh, you, you know what? Just no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, but now you're all curious. What happened to Hamster Bomb's toenail? Mm, you know what? No. It would. It'd be too gross. Let's not even do it. All right. So toenail, you are definitely worn. Um, let's go elbow. Elbow is actually our new lowest because we're ignoring that much likes down there who is not doing his job. Yeah, he's not holding anything. <laughs> Come on, man. Maybe it's wild battles only. All right, hello. You're so angry, it's a bad omen. I, I guess I, I can't go out there. Could, does she heal me? I thought someone healed you. Um, I'm gonna save in front of the Gyarados because I'm pretty sure um, you need the red scale for something. I don't remember. Okay. Also, fighting it with Metang is stupid. I should just use Pikachu and just be done. Um, I'm just not sure. <laughs> I'm going to kill it! Okay, Pokemon, um, let's Maximus switch with Elbow. Here we go. Let's go Sha! This is exactly what I wanted to do today. Kill a shiny Pokemon. K 
kill a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, what happens? What happens? I feel so awful doing this. There it goes. There it goes. It's dying. And dead. Oh. Oh. Do I not even get the, X, the, the red scale? Like, I think you pick it up anyway. Yeah, you still pick up the red scale even if you kill it. Okay. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> this hurt me so much more. Oh my god. And there's Lance. Hey, look how powerful I am, Lance. I just one-shot killed that giant... That red Gyarados wasn't acting right. Yeah, it comes to a ball. <laughs> it hurt me. Could you help me investigate? Yeah, sure. I see the Laker did. Yes, I know, we know. Anyway, now we finally have to do the Team Rocket hunt thing. It's gonna take a while. Back to Mahogany. Hey, you, you're gonna fly back there in style? So will I. Take this, sir. Boom. That is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Pokewalker Challenge, where I won't kill any more shiny Pokemon. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> that hurt me. It really hurt me to do that. I sent rain on his face. Those are tears. <laughs> Actually, I do want to heal up here. I remember all those shinies you ran from back in Q-Charm. You know what? Um, here's what really scares me, Cameron. So statistically, if you add up all of the encounters I did in Q-Charm, <clears throat> I, I would have ran from, like, at least, like, somewhere between, like, 5 and 10. 8192 shinies that just happened to be female or I just didn't notice they were male yeah yeah and you never know there's no way to know is how would you know all right so we were actually gonna use uh, elbow for the front um, I do have some time so we're gonna try and get in here today I have like one more hour, like an hour and a half at most, and we're gonna see what we do. Yeah, Lance, not above using telling his Pokemon to straight up attack people. What took you so long, hamster? Just I thought the strange radio signal is coming from here. How'd you figure that out? <laughs> was it the giant tree that gave way? The stairs are right here. Should I split up check the place I'll go first? Oh god, no, oh god, no, no, oh god. Oh, you're just realizing how many 8192 shinies had to have been in there? I, I did so many encounters, you can't tell me they weren't there. Ugh. Eyes are glowing red, you feel it, somebody may be watching. Okay, I was gonna say, can you deactivate the thing or you just have to like, step in front of every one of them? I don't know how Lance got by this. Though this is probably the way to go. This just takes forever to get through this segment. Oh well, so we're probably not gonna film another episode today. More than likely, we're just gonna like deal with this giant rocket hideout. And I think this even takes you from here to Goldenrod. Like once you're done with this, then you go to Goldenrod and you do the same thing. You're uh, you're basically doing this for a long time. They were like, yeah, you know what? That was a that was a lot of gems, really quickly. Cause you really can, yeah. We blew through what? Did we do three gems today? I think we did. Yeah, we did three gems today. And then you get to oh come on, yeah, thank you. Elbow's attack rose. So I'm confused with risen attack. Is it safe to stay out? About to send a Zubat, will you switch? I will, actually. I'm gonna switch for ear. Use some psychic that I know is not gonna mess up. Alright, ear is just going to hit this guy with that big Confuslin. 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 I want to check something here. So, um, uh, Dragonite, he's gonna evolve at level 55, and the move set I'm gonna want for it is, let's see, Dragon Dance, Dragon Rush, Outrage, Waterfall. So I'm gonna use Aqua Tail till I get Waterfall, but just using a physical, um, water on him is gonna be pretty good. Also, I'm gonna need Waterfall on somebody, and originally, if you remember, we were gonna have a Kingdra on the team. So since we are basically down that member and instead going uh, with the two um, Metang route just because I had to kind of cut that one um, it's kind of working out for me um, let me see so 
I'm looking at prominent levels and like the move sets that they're gonna get along the way. Uh, what I wrote down here for Raichu's final moves, I had mentioned on here, Raichu is going to have um, Surf, Thunder, Rain Dance, and Thunderbolt, and ideally holding the Damp Rock. I don't have the Damp Rock yet. I want it though. Probably. Here's the here's the thing about that. I won't be able to get it until after we beat the Elite Four the first time. Because then I'm going to get the National Dex, and then I'm going to be allowed to actually go to more areas in the Pokewalker. I'm about to send in the Ratatabi Switch Pokemon. Uh, no. um, my other Raichu, so far, only has, like, on my final planned moves list, um, Fly, Thunder, Thunderbolt. I don't know what the most important other attack should be. Um, I wish I could give it another special attack, like another element or something, but I don't think I can. Um, just remember, I can only do level-up moves... Unless it's a TM that came from the walker. I don't know what other move can come from the walker that I can even use like that. Um, that would help the flying Pikachu. Um, <clears throat> this is fine. We'll keep fighting with Elbow. And uh, I don't remember which way is actually correct, so let's just start fighting everybody. I wonder if you... Wait, do I fight the other person last now? Are they just gonna, like, forget that this is happening? They're gonna watch this whole thing, and they're not gonna know what's happening. Oh, well. You know what, since we don't need to record like this anymore, with our hat, I'm gonna put my hat to the side. Take a look at how how is Dragonair doing in here today. Probably not much, only 581. Uh, since I've started using my Pokewalker more, it's getting kind of scuffed up, but it's because I gotta wear it everywhere, and including at work where I've got, like, keys and, like, a walkie-talkie. It's not going so well. Kind of mess making. Do you have to keep landing there? You disabled Metal Claw. Seriously? Well, confusion just to finish him off. Hmm. Red disappointed that I took my hat off? Red, you notice what the hat even is? Like that. Yeah. I had a uh, Trainer Red cosplay for a while if you consider it that. <laughs> but it's in the Zubad, will you switch? Well, I mean. I'm still disabled, aren't I? So, um... No, actually, that's fine. Let's keep battling, because it's weak to Psychic. What do I think? So, uh, well, but I have an attack increase, which doesn't matter, because I'm using a Psychic. Whatever. It died. It did it dead. Don't forget, everyone, today is Starly Community Day. Oh, is it? You know, I feel really bad, because I haven't been playing Pokemon Go in a long time, and then I finally caught wind of a Dino Community Day, and I was like, oh, sweet! I'll, I'll play that. That sounds amazing. I love Dino. I love Hydreigon. Um, and, like, I was reading the article, and it was like, here's the dates for when it's gonna happen. And it was, like, five days ago. Like, when I was reading, I was like, what? And the article was posted, like, a few hours before it happened. I was like, what did you do? What? Who did that? Uh, don't uh, make it forget another move. Sure, I don't remember what I just learned. Um, pursuit, right. Um, I'm using all of the attacks right now, so I don't really want to have pursuit. Uh, uh, give up on pursuit. Did not learn pursuit. Girl, I failed. I failed you. And we have another one running. Yup. I mean, it's basically a gauntlet of people coming in to try and fight you, which I can appreciate, but it really doesn't feel like you're being swarmed in here. I wish there was like, just a ton that were hounding you. But it, instead, it's kind of weird. Like, you set the alarms off, a bunch of people come in, and then they forget you're there. And then a bunch of alarms go off. It's like the least stealthy operation. Solid Snake would be very disappointed in this. Uh, about to send a Grimer you switch. Um, I'm gonna stay. So, looking at the time-wise, I'm gonna try and get as far as we can. Try and get as far as we can in this place today live. Uh, even though, I'm probably not gonna be able to record much more of it, because I remember this this part of the game takes a long time. I bet it's in a Raditz, uh, sure we'll keep it. But still, it's basically gonna be playing Pokemon with you guys, which is fine. Playing them Pokemans. I'm just trying to level these guys up. This is probably my least favorite part of the game that we got to, because, like, the surveillance thing just, it, it just takes forever. Though it does help you level up your Pokemon. Is there a third one? No. Okay, so now you deal with this person. It's like they really didn't want me to go this way. Go ahead and take a, that's another step. We set explosives in the floor. Yeah. Except they don't go boom, it's just a bunch of Voltorbs. 
They're being cute. Though, now I'm thinking like a Metal Gear Pokemon stage, and you have to infiltrate this place, that would actually be pretty cool. Uh, it's Metal Claw. Though I kind of think you're supposed to go the other way first. Um, I really don't remember. This is not the building that has like a million floors. I'm, I'm mixing it up with Sylphco in my head. Sylphco, that took so long to beat. Like, at this point in Pokemon Red and Blue, there's also like a really, really long time to beat. Or like, time for you to get through it all. Uh, is it in the right of you search Pokemon? No. So, Starly Community Day. What's the time frame on that, uh, Black Boy? Though, I really don't care. I mean, I, I really hate Starly. But, I mean, a shiny's a shiny, so if I see, see one, I'll get it. Granted, I've already got those several times over, so... Not in Pokemon Go, but still. Just really lame. I don't know. Pokemon Go has lost me so much. Um, though, I was playing on mobile instead. Um, Part-time UFO. That game's fun. That's a much better game. I know it's a completely different type of game. But, uh, I just wish that Pokemon Go kind of... I don't know. It, it played more like it used to. Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe, um... There's gotta be some way to, like, bring back that initial... That, that, uh that collecting urge that the original did that it just doesn't do now like at all just a mess 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. of what time frame like whose time zone because that's now time if you want I'll turn it on and I'll look all right Magnemite is here with elbow just gonna looking at it music should not be playing on this um I don't know what would be a better move here. They're all bad. I should switch. Oh, yeah, there's a million Starlies here. Yep, so definitely Starly Community Day. I'm going to start clicking on some Starlies, so... Hey, we got a shiny Starly. I'll, I'll let you know. The regular Starly. Um, I'll just try and catch them anyway, I guess. We need to switch Pokemon. Um, and I got paralyzed. That stinks. Um, Gluteus, unfortunately, is really the way to go here. Like, I have no other answer to this. That stinks. Um, yeah, first to uh, catch streak. Yeah. <laughs> See, I told you, it's been a while. Uh, Pokemon Go, I play daily, and I don't understand if people drop out nowadays. I, I used to play daily. I used to turn it on all the time. Elbow can't be switched out. Why can't Elbow be switched out? Oh, he's the magnet pull thing? Something like that? I, I don't remember. Well, shoot. Um, what if I confusion, because it's special? Maybe it'll do more. Eh, it's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and keep catching Starlies, I guess, all the ones that are on me. Even though, uh, by the time I'm done catching them all, I'm probably not gonna see a sparkly one. Even if I do, then I'll show you. You you guys may name it. I named, my, did I tell you guys I named, um, like, I was actually having more fun with Pikmin Bloom than I was with uh, Pokemon Go for a while, but Pikmin Bloom also has some serious problems. Would you like to switch Pokemon? Yes. Um, I really don't want to have to use Gluteus, but I feel like I have to. Um, because other than that, everything's going to be resisted. Everything. Um, sure. Uh, transfer that Starly. Uh, catches another Starly. They should be shiny in the overworld in Pokemon Go. I mean, I get why they're not, because everyone sees the same thing, but that's what makes it dumb. That's what makes it dumb. A lot of things make it dumb. Maybe I can make a whole uh, hitbox just on, like, why Pokemon Go. Like, what have they done to Pokemon Go to change it? Because it seems like, on paper, they've just added new features, added new stuff. Why does it seem like the game isn't as fun now? You know, like, what what kind of killed the game? Ironically, for me, it was when they added Gen 4. I was like, eh. <laughs> But even still, like, I really love Gen 5. I, I, I think Gen 6 is really cool, too. Um, and I, neither of them got me interested when they were being added. You know, there's just... It's just kind of a mess. The whole thing kind of seemed like a mess. Um, I don't know how many Starlies I've caught so far, but... Kind of good mix. Oh, shoot, what am I doing? I was almost gonna catch up or pick up that Pokeball. We can't do that. Shoot, hold on, hold on. Um, don't you need, like, a password or passcode or something out of here? I don't even know what this XL candy is. Um, like, don't I need... Oh, 
Hold on. I don't remember how you're actually supposed to beat this. Because I'm pretty sure one of the items you pick up is like a key. Like an elevator key or something. And if I don't pick up the items, I can't get there. So I need to know exactly which one is the key. And I'm paralyzed. Um, That will never go away until I... um. Shoot. Shoot. So many sturlies. Um... God, I don't know what to do. You walked 30 kilometers this week. Sure. Just claim reward. Get that out of my way. I was, like, trying to catch a, a starly. Oh, good. I finally have an egg. I haven't had no eggs because I haven't been playing this game. Um... Well, I clearly missed. Or I was paralyzed and didn't move. Disable failed because I haven't been able to do anything. I don't know. I felt like you don't, like... I don't really level up anymore because I got to a point where... I'm, like, so high of a level, nothing is happening. I don't know. It's like the game worked well for a while. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's actually switch. But even though it's a Zubat, I think I might actually use an item to get rid of um, that off of Eldo. Or just deal with our other party members fighting instead. I don't remember... I think it's only, like, 1 out of 20 Pokemon can be shiny in a Community Day on Go. It's way too high. <laughs> way too high. Like, the community day, in my opinion, should last the entire day, and your odds should go way down. Or up. Down. Or, you know what I mean. It should be harder to get a shiny than it is. Yep, here's more people. And we're gonna keep fighting with our paralyzed Metang out front. Fighting the trainers will force you to get required items, and a Murkrow will give you a password. Right, it was the Murkrow in this game. Because I think they were trying to make sure that you didn't, um, screw it up. That Starly actually fled me. Um, thanks for looking that up, by the way. Another regular Starly. Uh, I don't remember what its shiny looks like. I think it was lighter or something like that. <clears throat> there, cool. He died anyway. I really wanted to, um, just get back and play in some other different weird stuff that I had planned, but the thing is, like, YouTube is burying my channel so much that I, anymore I just play these, like, new things that I want to try out, just in my free time. Um, also, the baby is kind of demanding that that's the way that I do it anyway, but it really stinks that, like, I needed I needed to rely on YouTube for the income, because there's a lot of work that goes into making this stuff, and now it's basically just, like, a for-fun hobby, even though it's a ton of work. Like, right now you're seeing the easy part of it, where I just literally just sit down, do nothing, and stream. But the rest of this is very difficult. And I'm actually trying to learn a new video program, too. Because Adobe sucks. And I'm trying to get rid of Adobe. Just cut them out of my life, man! They need to go! Their customer service is awful, too. Alright, there's another Starly, but... So I got a bajillion a annoying birds. Just a bajillion annoying birds. It's a CP10 one. That should have been the shiny. That's, that's what my luck is normally like in this game. I find, like, completely garbage Pokemon <laughs> as shinies. Like, oh man, I found this, um, during the Bagon Community Day. There was this, um, uh, Bagon that was, like, it was perfect stats except for one. And everyone was like, oh my god, please let, oh, but there you go. Shiny Starly right there. Um, I should just make sure I catch the darn thing, because one of them actually ran from me earlier. I'll throw a Great Ball. Probably not going anywhere, but yoink. There you go. Uh, so I can't grab that Pokeball. Um, and let's get this Metang out of the front of our party. Hey, gotcha! Switch with ear. Well, what am I naming it? <laughs> Actually, here, let me let me appraise it first. Let's find out. Let's take a look at your Starly. Oh, it... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... It's about what I expected. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. oh well, what else is on me here? Actually, that was the very last one. Nibbles found a candy. Good job, Nibbles. Nibbles is my Hydreigon. I, um, I was so excited that I hatched a, um, a Dino, and I've just been walking it forever and turned it into a Hydreigon, and then they made an event day for it, and I didn't know that happened, which stinks. <laughs> For me, it stinks. It doesn't stink that it happened. I mean, it's cool that it happened. Let's see, so here. Here's my weekly goals. To show you how infrequently I'm playing the game. I'm gonna read the dates on here. 
um, April 6th, June 18th, June 22nd, June 23rd, July 17th. That's, that's what just happened. Hey, Black Koi, thank you. Oh, the shiny looks a little better on Staraptor. Uh, name it Noodle. I think I have so many shinies named Noodle. I don't even remember anymore. Can Yanma shine? I like shiny Yanma. Uh, no. Well, I tried. Oh, he buzzes around so much. Stay still. I think I managed to get a grade on him. Cool. Okay, so to fight these guys, I think I was using Metal Claw. And level 28, maybe I'm just strong enough? Yes. And my attack rose. Excellent. There goes Ear. So I'm going to try and play two games at once here while I'm Pokemon going here on the side. Um, I don't know if um, Fighting Team Rocket does anything, but I got their balloon over my head. But I feel like they've always been above my head. Oh, you got to throw a lot farther to get the hop in. Uh, Zubat? Nope, stay in. But yeah, that Starly seemed pretty sucky. <laughs> Granted, it's a Starly. I mean, Staraptor's not good. I never really liked it much. Like, to fight or even to play with, just, you know. Oh, I I tried clicking on a, um, what's it called, Skitty? Uh, it was on me, and uh, a Starly spawned, and I accidentally clicked the Starly instead. I like when the camera zooms out for the monster to throw a Pokeball attack, and just said it attack, it just, wait, hold on. I like when the camera zooms out for the monster to throw a powerful attack, and said attack is just a hip jack. Oh, and said attack is just a hip jack. Yeah. Yeah. I was confused what you were talking about there for a moment. And then I stopped stumbling over my words. And was a normal human being for a moment. Ooh, I've caught a skitty. It's a little skitty. I don't know. I felt like there was, like, nothing to work towards, nothing to do. Um, I kind of wish, like, fighting trainers meant something. Why isn't it... I, I kind of really wish it was turn-based. Or just something. Even if it's like, you know, your, your time to get them back is coming back again, but you have more than two attacks. I don't know. I, I, I hate the battle system in Pokemon Go, and that's really what it leans on. Like, the battle system has to be interesting for the... collect. Once the collecting is kind of worn off. Um, and I think that's like the weakest part of the game. It's literally just mash buttons. Not even buttons, just mash screen. Like, when you can hand this game to a toddler... And it'll be played just as effectively as an adult. You gotta fix it. Intruder alert, Pokemon battle, cool, rumble. Here we go. Get ready. To be shocked. Okay. Your item bag is full. You won't get anything. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with whatever it recommended. I'm just gonna fight it without even watching. Okay, you ready? Send in Rattata? Um Sure. I'm I'm seriously gonna kill whatever is on screen right now by doing nothing. Just tapping my screen. I'm trying to get a good tappy 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 tappy. Oh, I have a shield? Oh, I, I shielded on accident, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna tappy tappy. Gonna prove a point here. Um, uh, Metal Claw. You can probably see it. Yep. You wanna learn how to battle in Pokemon Go? Tap 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 tap. Tap 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 tap. Player defeated a rocket grunt. Actually, I'm never gonna know when I actually win. Oh, I'm almost done, actually. I was gonna say, like, did I win yet? I didn't even use any of the powered up moves, and that's. You know that. What? I lost? No! Running by a Pokeball. And here we go again. Oh, it was two different ways to get through here, I see. Oh, yeah, you actually catch the Shadow Pokemon. I do like this aspect, but it's probably just a. Oh, it's a cool, Shiny Mary. Or, no, a Shadow Mary. Um. I think if you just give them, what I heard was, you give them a berry and you catch it, it's like a guaranteed catch. I don't remember. Hey, intruder alert. Oh, no. Yeah, tap, 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 tap. Of any of the Pokemon games that really should have been turn-based, it should have been the mobile one. And it's not. It's so stupid. Um, let me guess, it's horrible. All of them that I get out of the Shadow things are horrible. I don't understand. So That was probably another thing. I never got a single one that was good. I found some cool ones, but they were all terrible. Terrible. You're all terrible. Um, I don't know how to show you even, like, the cool stuff that I had in here. Just to, like, show some Pokemon. There you go, Ear. Um, this is probably the coolest Pokemon that I have. Um, my shiny, uh, Mel... Metal... I think his name is? I don't remember. I call him Squeaker. 
My most powerful shiny in this is um, Metal Gear. Uh, my Metagross. Um, will you... No. What else is the next shi powerful shiny I've got? Uh, oh, um, Fuzz and Wuzz. Just more Community Day ones. I really just... I think the Community Days hurt the game more than anything. <laughs> um, yeah, because it, it's just kind of a... I don't know. Not a, not a fan. At first, I thought it was a really good idea. And then, like, they just kept changing it up and then charging money for some of them. And... It's a Community Day, and you're gatekeeping it. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, they're, they're raking in billions. And they want to charge money for an event. That, that Actually, you know what? That might have been what done it. That stopped me from playing the game anymore. I was like, you know, that's that's the line that's, I'm drawing right there. It's not that I'm not willing to pay money for the game. It's just that I would pay money for it if the game would improve. Ain't that you can't trade from all over the world. I'm like, oh, yes! That should have been the game from the just start. Yes, I agree. I'm about to send in Gengar where you switch. Oh, Grimer. I was gonna say Gengar. Dang, I don't remember that happening. Actually, these, um... Uh, these guys are really gonna help us tank through this place. I feel like we really should keep using the belt, uh, the, the Metangs the whole way through. I still see people trying to ask for global trades on Go. Yeah. Also, um... I feel like they may include that feature as soon as they make Vivalon, but at the same time, because they make Vivalon, they might never do it, you know what I mean? Because they would want you to travel around the world and collect all the butterflies in one game. Or it would devalue someone who has collected all the butterflies in one game. Um, I'm actually going to go back. So that we can heal. Because it, we were so close right here, and my Metang just requiring um, the Paralysis heal, and I don't want to give him that. I don't know, Pokemon Go needs a lot of work. It's a shame, too, because, like, it's it was such a good, like, it was a huge phenomenon. It was a hit. It was almost like his, it was close to as, like, big as what Pokemon initially was when it, like, first launched in the 90s. I remember that, too. It was crazy. It wasn't quite that big. But still, Pokemon Go, like, you heard it on the radio, you saw it on TV, it was all over the place. And then, like, people were playing it outside all the time. But, that was, like, it died so fast, because I think people realized, like, the, the game was just so hollow. Travel all the around in this day and age, especially with a certain unspoken thing. Yeah, exactly, it's, no, actually, we went this way. It is not happening. It is absolutely not happening. <laughs> yeah, um... Pokemon Go has also made a lot of changes to, like, um, it's post-pandemic world. Not good. Is this the room with the, uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're giving a take too much credit. It's the same people that, uh, want the world to go seek out the ultimate Pokemon. <laughs> Corona Chan will, uh, see per way. Actually, let's keep using ear till ear hits level 30. Alright, so this we need the passwords for. And we get the passwords from the Murkrow. Um, okay, so I think we just start fighting everybody. I, I really think that's just the way to go. You rock little pest! Oh, I'm gonna kick you out of here with this confusing accent. I don't know where you're from, but I'm talking out of the side of my mouth as if it's villainous for you. Patooey spits on ground. <clears throat> Ugh. Ugh. I'm tired, old man. Other than being uh, hollow, Go is still a kind of danger to some people. I still see some run square to walls. I remember, like, the month it came out, there were articles everywhere that it was, like, so dangerous. People were, like, constantly driving with it. Um, there were accidents all over, people walking into traffic, getting hit. Um, and then, uh, they made lures, like, a month or so. I don't remember, like, how late into it they made lures, but it was, like, that first year. And they made Pokelures, and people, like, um, 
pedophiles and muggers were using it to try and lure people into like back alleys and stuff and do it at the middle of the night and then like they get people back there and like they attack them and rob them or whatever they wanted other things um have a password only rocket knows Ooh, oh no but yeah that was a bad move it's like pokemon go just made like continuous bad moves they've never really been like in the press as like doing good things like oh yeah people are really excited about this feature and it has no downsides at all <laughs> maybe shadow pokemon maybe but if so that was it i think other than that they've just been shooting themselves in the foot yeah i feel like um all pokemon should have had the ability to be shiny from the get-go too well maybe as soon as johto hit maybe as soon as johto hit but still yeah uh not just at night in broad freaking daylight too Uh, the voice of a certain person is a person is a uh, uh, petrol executive I found out from the leader's office formerly the other room is also protected with a password we have the password to their leader's office first uh so I do have to fight the grunts to learn the passwords okay can't touch that um more goodies can't touch those let's go in here and fight um these people. I used to work for Silk, now I work for Team Rocket. Hey man, whatever pays the bills. You got kids? That that face looks like it does not have kids. Or at least I hope it doesn't have kids. I still remember the conspiracy theories with it. Yeah, there were some weird, weird uh, conspiracies out there with like how it worked and things like that, but... Sigh. It was, it was... Fun while it was good, but it, I don't know. I don't want to just complain about it. I really wanted to enjoy this game, and I did for a long while, but I kept waiting for the changes and the updates that just never came. The ones that were like, you know, should be basic day one, like, fix the combat. It's terrible. You know, like, like oh, we just mashed the button, and that's, that's the combat. That should have been fixed immediately. So I think they just tell you? Yeah, the password maybe, but I don't know if he's gonna get it. Um, also, there's no Pokemon spawning. Oh, no, there's just Starling. I was gonna say, there's nothing here. Sends out Ekans. Uh oh, someone's doomed. There's also some crazy shots I know you can do just because how glitchy the game is. If you do a curveball, you can intentionally throw it like. Um, into the Pokemon when they're attacking, it'll bounce back off, hit the ground, and because it's spinning it the right way, it'll come back and hit them and they'll still catch. You can do some weird stuff. Like, people have had to do so much just to try and make the game interesting. Because it's just the most monotonous thing. I don't know. I, I want to feel like there's a reason for me to go walk somewhere. Instead, it's just like... Such a do-nothing game. Most of it's centered with how the game works with GPS. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. There was some weird stuff. Actually, let's keep battling. We'll fight a bloom. At least I can incubate that egg, and I finally have an egg. All right. Uh, probably a Zen headbutt because I think that thing would survive a confusion. And uh, I one shot kill. That's what I do. I simply kill. After this, it looks like Ear is gonna switch back with um, Elbow. Yeah, I remember a lot of people um, cheating with their GPS too. Okay, the password is Slowpoke Tail. The other one's Raticate Tail, but I don't remember who knows it. I think it was a guy in a corner. Um, we were going to switch you two. And it also looks like Munchlax has a goodie and Antidote. Cool. Good thing we switched that before we did anything, too. Actually, I think it's that back guy right there. He knows it. If I was running go, I would have a lot of uh, changes. It would probably be down for like a month. Or it really doesn't need to be down just for certain maintenance. Like, let it run normally, but like, work on ex like fixing it up big time. I just miss. And now I have to fight a Metang. You miss? Okay. <laughs> 
How can I kill a Matang? Um, I think it has to be Gluteus. Those things are so freaking hard to kill. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's gotta be Gluteus. I think I have to hit it with water. Um, yeah. It's an absolute, uh, confusion. Ooh. Yep, Surf, please. Just Light Ball, Surf. Good. Luckily, it still has Ditto stats. Okay, cool. Oof. Ditto's a cool Pokemon. He's pretty fun. I, I think that Ditto should have um, had a bigger role in Go as well. I like what they did with him, but the fact that, like, a Pokemon can... Yeah, it could be a Casper. It was this guy. If, um... Like, if you find a shiny of, like, a Rattata or a, um... Uh, Mag... Mag... Mag Carp or something, it can still transform into a normal Ditto. It won't even be a shiny Ditto. That's... so bad. Um, let's Iron Head. And this will hit pretty freaking hard and hopefully levels up to 29. Cool. Oh, man. I, I'm actually really tempted. I just want to get back into uh, Dark Souls. I just beat last night, um... Was it last night? Yeah, I think so. Um, no, 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 no. I didn't get to play last night. Night before last. Um, I beat, um... What's his name? The Gaping Dragon. That thing was so cool. Uh, we don't have both passwords. Haha. -ha. Well, if you guys gave me the passwords, then... Kind of defeated the purpose of that. <laughs> Pretty easy to barge your way in here. Uh, okay, Team Market HQ. It's just a nice dead end here. Oh, does the password... It opens the boss's door, not where the electrodes are, I think. Um... Hey, Munchlax has something. I closed it too quickly. We gotta check that more frequently. A repel. You can do better than that little guy. I know based on the level of the Pokemon that you are um, walking uh, with the uh, repel, or the pickup, they can pick up different things. There's like different chances based on which level they're at. And I think the absolute best thing you can get out of there is Earthquake. Um, and that's the only way to obtain Earthquake, by the way. Like, if that's still possible, if I'm allowed to do that like this, I need to get, like, a level 91 pickup Pokemon, and then run around with them, and I have a 1% chance of that item being Earthquake TM. Ugh. But it'd be so powerful. Uh, I don't know if I'm willing to work that hard for one move, but it's a thing, and I mentioned it to you. Ah, you're there. I see who you're fighting next after, uh, gaping. I'm not sure, actually, because, like, he gave me a key to go to Blight Town. Um, this, by the way, is my first time playing Dark Souls. I've never played this before. I'm very excited to get into it, finally. It's been a long time. It's very good. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so, he gave me a key to Blight Town, but I, um, I'm actually, I went down, down to the, uh, Darker Basin, and I just beat a night there, and I saved at a bonfire I found in a cave. Um, that was in Radita. Keep fighting. Um, I saw some weird golem dudes, and I unlocked the door, and saw this scary dude on the other side, so I'm gonna slowly start trying to chip away and kill them um, for my next, like, few hours of playing the game. Um, I also found out I could go back to, um, the Undead Asylum, and while I was there, I uh, fell in a hole and lost like 10,000 souls because there was an evil, evil demon down there and it one-shot killed me because I fell in the hole, took half my damage from fall damage, and he immediately like slammed before I even could get up and I took another hit and it killed me. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I tried going back in to get my money back and um, he killed me again before I could even move, so I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so, granted, I'm playing um, like a warrior with big heavy armor. It's not going well. In that regard, it's not going well. What's this way? Uh, just did a Moltres raid. Uh, how do you feel about raids in Pokemon Go? It's just tapping the screen. Also, it really, like, it's just not the multiplayer aspect that I would have enjoyed, but I like the, I kind of like the idea that, like, a legendary Pokemon is, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Do we make an episode out of this? 
I think we should. An episode out of him, the leader, and then um, the third leader. We should film this. We should totally film this. Okay, I didn't think we were going to get any more episodes out of this, but we're totally going to do it. Let's go. Um, yeah, Stray Demon just immediately kills you when he falls down there. No, how are you supposed to fight? You gotta up that vitality by a lot just to survive a hit from the fall. That is so awful. So yeah, I found, I was like, I can save him for later. I'll fight him later. I don't need to fight him now. I looked up what he was gonna drop, and he doesn't drop any progression stuff. It's just a lot of souls. And I already lost so much just getting in there, so I was like, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are joining me for another episode of the Pokewalker Challenge. And as we are invading the Team Rocket hideout, I completely forgot that your rival, Bomb, is taking us on here. And as you know, we are not exactly in the best um, state to fight after all of these Team Rocket grunts that have happened. Offline, of course. But. And he generously left us. He's optional, so no need to fight him. How do I fight him? How do I fight him? I want to fight him. How do I fight? How do I fight him? How do I fight it? How do I fight so? <laughs> he just left. He just left. Okay. Oh, we uh, there was something else was optional. We were talking about something. We were talking about Dark Souls, a different character. Okay, so never mind. I guess you don't fight your rival here. But never mind. We're actually gonna fight. Yeah, we ran into the two passwords. We're gonna fight this Team Rocket boss. And we're gonna try and uh, move on from here. Well, you've been waiting for you. So you see, you don't know why I am. It's Giovanni! No, it's not. You're a liar. So, um, we're gonna try and take this guy down. I think from here, we're able to go to the room with all the electrodes. Pace word is, hey, old Giovanni. Surprised you're from me. No, the password won't help you, though. Door won't open unless I say the password only reacts to my voice. And we're gonna chase that Murkrow until it copies your voice. <laughs> I wanted to fight Silver. I know we're like backed into a corner right now, but I wanted to fight Silver. I think we could have done it. Bomb is a coward. All right, so let's take down this dude with some confusions. <laughs> We've actually been in this rocket place for a long time. I've been trying to fight absolutely everybody to make sure that we get all the XP. And it's really hard making sure that like, I get the goodies to progress forward, but like, don't pick up anything. Fight everyone. This is so weird because we need the XP. We're doing well, though. I think we're doing pretty well. Um, Level-wise, we're definitely doing... I think. I still think we're doing okay. It's it's really hard to tell, because like the way I'm playing this game is so bizarre compared to like a normal playthrough. Um, hey, you're good. You're pretty good. Sucker Punch is going to do nothing to me. And I'm not quite going to be able to one-shot him. Wow, strong. And he's not gonna go for a heal, all right. Whatever. So, I guess that was our big fight that we were all excited about. I was expecting uh, Bomb to be a problem. He, he really just popped up out of nowhere when we were very weak. So yeah. My voice to unlock it. And he just runs. Okay, bye. And then the Merc goes like, hey, by the way, Hey, I'll Giovanni. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, 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 just run. Okay, so I guess that's what we're gonna do now. I don't know if there's another boss fight in here. I know that we have to have Hold on, hold on. No, 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 I know where that is. Shoot, isn't one of those the Master Ball? I can't grab it, I can't pick it up. Ah. The password is Hail Giovanni. Do I just run right by this guy too? Yep, just run by everybody. <laughs> Bye bye! And look at like they don't even like physically try and stop you anymore. After they're like, well, I lost a Pokemon battle. Uh, clearly, this kid is allowed to do whatever he wants inside of our evil underground organization. Let's get. Uh, hold on. Is it this way? No, it's back upstairs. Uh, this game has a versus seeker with your rules for the game. Uh, if I don't think it has a versus seeker with your rules for the game, does that mean you wouldn't be able to use it? I don't have. I don't have Versus Seeker. I don't think I could use it. Come on, Murkrow. This takes so long. Here we go. Password is Hail Giovanni. I guess they want you to feel like you scared him back here to get it to unlock the door. He's like, ha ha, I'm a jerk, and just runs away. All right. Oh, oh, good. Yes, here. This is another good fight. Now, I'm pretty sure this one, you team up with 
um, Lance. Even though I probably could take them both on right now by myself without Lance's help, but we'll see how this goes. What level is this Dragonite at? Because Dragonite, you don't get to level 55. He's already cheating to get one at level 50. So I want to see. What level is his Dragonite? This has to be crazy low. I'm going to say 40... 45 max. They wouldn't do that, right? Here it keeps getting in the way. All right, what do you got? 40, it was, it's a level 40 Dragonite. What are you doing? There's nothing wrong with Dragonair, man. Have a Dragonair. Uh, Elbow is going to Zen Headbutt the Arbok. Dragonite flew up high. Arbok used Glare, missed, boom. All right. <laughs> Uh, he's down. Uh, hello, Gojira fan! Welcome to the stream. And Black Koi Records asks, got any plans for grinding later on? Mostly, um, my grinding plans are inside this thing. Um, I expect to mostly get my experience out of the Pokewalker itself, and not so much from, um, Dragon Age Fly on the Drowsy, um, and, and not so much from the inside of the game itself. In Pokemon Hacker Lance. He's, uh, doing his thing, I guess. Hopefully I get all the XP. I don't think I split with Dragonite, right? Yeah, Nightshade to Dragonite for whatever that's worth. Iron Head, Murkrow... Not quite enough. Oh good, they do have more. So, with a Grimer on that side, I can also hit it with, uh... Confusion would probably do it, but his Zen Headbutt kind of confirms that it dies. And also... Dragonite's gonna hit, um... I just realized Dragonite's gonna hit the Murkrow. Oh, shoot, I actually missed. So, if that's the case, I'll just Metal Claw the Murkrow. Hopefully, Dragonite doesn't hit the Murkrow. Oh my god, you idiot! Why would you aim for the Murkrow? Oh, boy. Like, his Pokemon is so much stronger than theirs, and he's just being a complete idiot. I did a lot more damage than I expected, too. Uh, okay, uh, Gloom. Mm. Let's actually do this. Yeah, because Dragonite now actually has a good reason to try and hit the Gloom like this, and I'm not going to be able to get in there fast enough to stop him. Gloom, sweet scent, Dragonite avoid the attack, clear body, prevented stat loss. You did nothing! You literally sat there and did nothing. Eh, confusion, it's not gonna work anyway, because Dragonite's gonna kill it. Gonna kill it super dead. I don't know, I guess they're just trying to show off like, hey, by the way, double battles. We know double battles. Because um, this didn't happen in the original Gold and Silver. I think you did get confronted, but um, I don't know if you got confronted. You might have gotten confronted, but you definitely did not go into a double battle. That did not happen until Gen 3. You gonna heal me? The answer I saw while you were doing this on back and I was to turn on the radio signal. Um, I think I go left. I thought that was what you do. You go left. Yeah, he goes right. Yeah, you can't even challenge the ones to the other side. Machines got all the problems. I don't see a switch. I have no choice. Make all the electrode faint. It should stop the machine from transmitting the signal. No faulty electrode makes me feel sad. You know what's funny here? Yeah, <laughs> funny. Is um, I've seen people actually shiny hunt this room because this you can get these uh, electrodes to shine. We're gonna have to switch to Gluteus. Nobody else can really take on an electric Pokemon that well. I could do it with others. We don't need Gluteus. Let's do Gluteus anyway, because at least it's a guaranteed kill. All right, so I'm gonna finish up these three, and then after this, we're gonna go back and try and challenge that gym. Because we have an ice gym today. A very nice gym, a nice ice gym. Surf should one-shot them all. And we'll check the bottoms. We got a nice blue bottom one, and I'm going to uh, have a blue bottom myself from crapping my pants so hard that it, I got a shiny electrode out of here. I mean, it'd be... Yeah, I'd get a blue bottom. Wouldn't you get a blue bottom? And you all get blue bottoms too. Blue bottoms for everybody. Let's hit blue attacks for these blue bottoms. Honestly, if I did find a shiny like this, I don't know how I would even catch it. I don't have, like my team is clearly not made for catching. It's just for like killing. That's all I can do. I can kill. Oh, poor electrodes all must die. And clearly they're all just dying in a single shot to Gluteus. No one can possibly stand up to her mighty wave of wetness. And, uh, who am I gonna fight the... Oh, ice... We just steal, right? We're just gonna destroy these with Metangs again, so we should be set. I'm gonna see you guys at the gym. Because I gotta remember, we're still trying to 
Record there. Um, you're the best. Let me know you're big. We should take this. Found it. I don't know what it is. HM5. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. What, what is it? HM5. Um, that's Whirlpool. Teacher bug again across this water. I don't think you need Whirlpool. I could be wrong, but... To beat the... Yeah, I don't think... Since we're playing Heart Gold, I don't think we'll have to use Whirlpool. If we were playing Soul Silver, we would. But I don't think we have to in Heart Gold. Okay, so there's a fast travel thingy out of here we can take now. Um, that's no lie, Lance is a horrible cheater. In Gold Silver Crystal, he even had an Aerodactyl with Rock Slide, even though in Gen 2 it couldn't learn that. <laughs> that's aside from his Dragonites. I didn't know about the Aerodactyl with Rock Slide. Why would they not let Aerodactyl have Rock Slide? Wasn't Rock Slide a TM back then, too? I'm pretty sure it was. I've, I've been wrong before. I am wrong very often, actually. Let's switch with Hellbell, once again. Now that everybody seems to be in the um, level 30 range, um, I love mosquitoes, since the sarcasm. I love mosquitoes. Isn't, to write sarcasm, don't you write, like, because I know that people, people started figuring this out, like you type sarcasm by alternating between capital and the uh, lowercase letters. That's great. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, and we're out of here. We are moving into the nice ice gem. This ice nice gem. This place has odd puzzles, and we are smart people, and we're going to beat them with our big brains. How do we do this? Okay, so first off, we're going to fight everybody, because we're here for the XP, and we're here for the murder. Um, Let me see. So they have a lot of... I was thinking water ice, but that's the Hoenn Ice Gym, which is also, ironically, um, one of the last ones you fight in that game. But yeah, like Walrian and things like that, so this one um, we're probably just going to be dealing with... Oh, don't worry, I'm not escaping. Um, let me see, we might have Pillis... Pillis Wine, I think, is the big one that the gym leader has. Longest cry ever, I swear. Um, so swine ups will probably be a thing. Ground is not so good for us to be hitting with the steel. I think they're still weak to um the steel. So I think what we want to do is actually approach from the left side, smack this one over because we want to go up from the center. Uh, border Patton sends out swine up. Well, now it's time to find out if it actually works or not. Swine up was the one Pokemon I know I probably screwed up the most. Raced itself. I probably screwed up the most in Pokemon Q-Charm. I went through the um, area, that ice cave. I captured... Yeah, I was going to say, don't you endure with one HP. I captured one shiny, and I moved on because it was so hard. And then I was like, oh, shoot. It evolves to a, a Pillswine. I had to go back later, catch one, turn it into a Pillswine, and I went on about my business. And then I realized even later, oh, shoot. Pillswine evolved in the fourth generation. Dude, there's other moves other than endure. You, you can win if you try. You probably won't win, but trying is a good thing you can do. Uh, it's just like in Red and Blue and Charizard couldn't learn fly. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Charizard could not learn fly in the first generation. It was because, like, you, they couldn't, like, from what I understand, they couldn't program a way to get it to work when, like... I think it was like previous generations couldn't do it or something weird like that, or like they weren't the type to do it. It was some weird reason why they couldn't. Like, could Dragonite fly? I don't remember. I think Dragonite could fly in the first gen, so why couldn't Charizard? Anyway, um, yeah, we were also talking about how Lance cheats, and one of the ways was apparently his Aerodactyl in Gen 2 actually knew Rock Slide, even though Aerodactyl could not know Rock Slide in that game. That's great. That is great. <laughs> So seal is ice water, so if it's ice water, it resists it? But, or is he, he's not just water, seal's not just water. Why did I hit him twice with the same move? I didn't mean to do that. My attack rose though, so that's good. And rest, well since my attack rose, I'm gonna hit him with a, um, oh. Oh no, he used encore. That's, I'm being stupid. So what, 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 what? what? Okay, hold on. Seal woke up. Ice shard. Why is he resisting it? I, I, if he's ice water, ice is weak, water resists. He should take it normally. 
Right? Um, apparently the Pokemon anime, I think Ash finally made it as the Champion League. Yes, there's a lot of jokes that go with that. I'm gonna keep battling, because my attack rose. <clears throat> Let's actually hit him with, um... Well, I don't know now. Oh, I have to keep using Metal... When does this stop? He's weak to... Seal must just be water. Seal's just water? I didn't know that. I thought Seal was, um, water ice. Shows what I know. Wow, a Kanto Pokemon, and I didn't know it's typing. I have to send it a seal we switch. Well, at this point, because apparently I have to Encore until the end of time. Um, let's use Maximus, because I, it's water. It really is. But yeah, so the people are making... Yeah, apparently seal is pure water. I did not know that. I thought he was ice. Let's, um... Thunderbolt. So yeah, um, people were, like, joking about Ash saying, Oh yeah, now he's, like, what every employer in the United States wants out of somebody. They're 10 years old, but they have, like, 15, or, like, no, 25 years of experience. Because <laughs> how, how long have has he been trying to do that? Um, let's see here. So we're gonna want, I think, this side to get to that trainer to go up. Um, I don't remember. Mm -mm -mm. This is the one that we're gonna have to reset the rim. Oh no, this was right. Now we need to go up from the bottom, go up to hit that trainer, and then go up to Bryce. Um, or Price, or whatever the heck his name is. And then, um, we may have to reset... Uh, the room to get the ice blocks in the correct positions, but regardless, I think we're gonna be okay. Um, from this point, I know you're actually weak to it, so I'm gonna Iron Head. Surrounded by a veil of water. Doesn't matter if you're dead. Wow! Um, Zen Headbutt. Rest. Okay, so can I two-shot you with Zen Headbutts? Eh? No! Wow! Holy crap, this thing's tanky! Um, I mean, I, I, I could always, uh... Come on, please do it. Fast asleep. Boom. Yes. I was gonna say, I could always do it with Pikachu if I have to, but... I'm trying to raise these guys now. A thousand points, that's very nice. And it was just one Pokemon. Okay, so I think there's only one more trainer in here before we have to go for the, uh, the leader. Um, actually, this may be the way to go. Yeah. Right, and you needed that already pushed back. In order to go over here, go up. They can't spot you until you get here, otherwise you break the puzzle. I know Price's secret. <gasps> Ice-type Pokemon? <laughs> I've never gone to this gym using Steel as the move that, like, was beating the Ice Pokemon. Steel. Uh, now, Shelter, I think, is Water Ice, right? Or is he just Water? I, I don't know. I know he uses Ice moves. I think he's just Water. I guess it's... Man, I, everything I know is wrong. I got a... I got a Kanto Pokemon's typing wrong. I must be getting so old. Younger me would be so disappointed. Ooh, yeah, you hit him with specials. What was I thinking? You hit him with a special attack. That's how you kill Shelters and Cloisters. Come on. Fill me up. Cloister. Uh, since we just mentioned that, let's actually switch over to the Pikachu because it cannot possibly survive this. Um, can I for Ash versus Steven? Cynthia versus Iris? Leon versus, um, Elaine. I don't know who that is. And Lance versus, uh, Diantha. That sounds like a, a mess. Like a complete mess. But whatever. Let the... I don't pay attention to the Pokemon anime at all. Ever since, um, the weird seasons they did after the first one, I stopped watching. <laughs> so basically, um, I stopped watching when I was eight. Yeah, yeah, like, it wasn't even, um, it wasn't even 2000 yet. Maybe the 2000 movie was probably the last I saw, and then I was like, eh. <laughs> um, sending a seal. Let's actually go back, because I think, um... Was it ear or elbow? I was about to level up. Uh, let's try ear. I don't remember. Oh well. Oh well, I'm doing my best here. It was definitely elbow. Elbow was gonna hit the 32, but whatever. Okay, so we're gonna Zen Headbutt. I think it's the best way to go. So we seem to be doing fine in this gym. Like, I'm not worried too much from what they're giving us. And if actually I use Pikachu again, I can't believe Pikachu is so powerful, but yeah, Pikachu is probably gonna win us this. Let's preemptively switch the light ball off of Gluteus and put it onto Maximus, because Maximus is going to be the one that I'm probably going to want to fight with, because it has increased special attack for its nature. I wish you could just tell it, move item. 
item, take. You see the light ball, Maximus, item, give. Um, light ball. Alright, Max, see the light ball to hold it. Munchlax is still not holding anything. It, my first one was holding stuff constantly. This one just doesn't care about life. Alright, hopefully you just have Pill Swine that you start with, or uh, something that I can hit you with my Metang. Yep, I'm Price, the Winter type. Did he really say Winter type? I, I didn't really read. I don't really pay attention to what they say in Pokemon anymore. Leader Price sends out Seal, of course, <laughs> the Water type one. But now at least I know because I'm not stupid. Hit it with Psychic moves, and I'll just miss. Started to hail. Well, that basically cancels out my leftovers and damages him. That's cool too. I mean, I that, I can go with that. Critical hit, that makes up for the fact that I missed. Not entirely, but whatever. Okay, elbow is level 32, cool. Elbow wants to learn bullet punch. Maybe. We're gonna move, um, I'm thinking of swapping Metal Claw. Metal Claw has power 50, accuracy 95. This has power 40, accuracy 100, but it always goes first. So it's effectively quick attack. Um. 5075 can raise your attack. I, Metal Claw's kind of better. I mean, well, my speed is so low, though. Um, I'm never really relying on the attack buff. Um, you know what? Bullet Punch can save my life because I'm slow, though. Metal Claw can't. I'm gonna level up Metal Claw into Bullet Punch. Probably still gonna swap this stuff later when we get to uh, Metagross. I was more than likely not gonna hang on to Metal Claw as an attack. So, cool. There we go. Still have Iron Head. And that's really where the power comes in. Um, about to send it a Pill Swine. No, keep battling. So here, we might actually need it in this particular fight, too. Pill Swine. I'm gonna hit you with an Iron Head. Bam. What happens? Only half. And it's holding a Citrus Berry. Of course, you guys are just filled with Citrus Berries. And you have ground moves. And you critical hit. I see how it is. Alright, fine. Elbow fainted. Hail continues to fall. Let's use ear. You're in charge, ear. <laughs> okay. Iron head. Bill Swine Monday. You're faster than me? Uh, okay, so that it really sh I really should have survived before. Uh, bullet punch! I don't have bullet punch! Um... I don't have bullet punch! What if he heals? He healed, yes. Okay, so that was the right move. I was thinking I can try and switch people, but... Oh my god! Okay, he'll stop, so at least my health goes up a little bit, so I might be able to withstand one more Mud Bomb. I may, unless it crits. No. No. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking toenail from here. Do it, toenail. Um, so toenail, let's belly drum rest. Ice Fang missed belly drum. I'm so glad he missed. That helps me out a lot. Um, you know what? Screw the rest, I'll rest later. Let's attack. I don't think he'll do that much to me anyway. Tackle missed! Come on! Come on, this is important. Blizzard! Oh, that did not do much at all. Yes! Oh, no! No! Okay, um, I have to rest. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Okay, so... He is not looking like he wants to heal his pillow swine. And it's taking no damage from this. Okay, yeah, the hail's like... <laughs> nothing happens. Now we just try and attack through this. Blizzard. This really is like Trainer Red in training, isn't it? Except, like, triple the level. Yeah, this music is so good. Hail stopped. Come on, get him. Get him. Wake up. What are you doing? Tonal woke up. Tackle. Boom. All right, it's down. Now, Tonal has... Max attack. I could try. Got to send in the dugong. 
I'm gonna try and stay. I'll see what happens if I hit it with a tackle. Um, ideally, I should rest, though, but I don't know how much damage it's gonna deal to me. Uh, you know what? Let's rest. Because Aurora, it, I knew it was gonna hit me first. I'm gonna heal it. Because I would not have the opportunity in the next turn. So we're gonna heal up rest. And now, I'm just gonna try and wake up and attack through this. Hopefully it can't deal that much to me in this time, because I am going to be healing with the leftovers. It's like the only way to survive <laughs> is the leftovers. Get as many leftovers as I can. Alright, how much does my tackle do? That's so good! And it's just tackle. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible, not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> He's like, I have to establish this odd piece of lore and its relevancy. He went to sleep, but it doesn't matter, I can two-shot you. Never use rest if your opponent can two-shot you. Otherwise, you're just... Or you're trying to waste... I don't know. I don't know why you would ever do that. There you go. Critical hit. Pointless, but... Regardless, we have it. Toenail! So powerful. So clippy. Seems my luck ran out and I didn't even need my Pikachus who were in the back. Who were in the back, because if the, uh... If it came down to it, I was weak to ground across most of my team. And it would have come down to that Snorlax. That's so why I was like, we need to... We have to kill this, um, Mud Bomb Slingin' Pillow Swine. That thing is so terrifying. And that did it. We just got the Glacier Badge from this Price Dude. We are now gonna be moving on through the Icy Caves and come upon the next gym. The Dragon-type place. I don't remember what the... There's not a name for the gym. The Dragon-type place. And we're gonna go there in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Poke Walker Challenge. Who you? Whew. All right, uh, we can stop that video and now get our butts out of here Also, we gotta acquire our new badge. We have so many of these now Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to start over once we get to Kanto because we have no more space on this thing Yeah, the music in Gen 4 Well, I don't watch like the music in Diamond and Pearl This is the music of Gen 2. It's just remade. So. Eh. Um, I would say that uh, Gen 4's music, actual Generation 4 music is not really good, but what we're listening to here, because it's Gen 2, Gen 2 is good stuff. Gen 2 might be my favorite music of the bunch. 1 is excellent, but so is, um, 3. Those, like, those three are, like, top-tier equal in my head of, like, music, of how good they are. Weird happening on the radio broadcast. Let's talk about Team Rocket. Yes, do you know anything about it? Maybe it's Team Rocket's return. No, that can't be true. Sorry, Buggy. Take care. So, um, am I supposed to, from here, actually go... Yeah, I think you are. He stops you. Hey, kids, see your new Mahogany Towns. So you used to try one of Yummy Rage Candy by Rando. Could be yours for 300. One, one. Wow, what a pushy jerk. No, I can't even buy it. Fine, then. Yeah, he won't get out of your way until you actually beat the Team Rocket base again. So I'm kind of screwed waiting on that to happen. So what I say we do is we're going to save and heal. I'm going to fly my butt down there, get myself ready. I think I actually go to the underground area and get changed. I don't think I fought anybody there. I didn't even fight anybody there. I think I just ran through the entire area. Elbow's feeling better, you decided to take Elbow with you. Poor Elbow went down to the Iceman. We did get a lot done today, and I still have to get going after this. Not to work, luckily! I will be going to the aquarium with the baby who's gonna be getting up soon, so I actually have to get ready. I'm going to fly ourselves there on Maximus uh, to Goldenrod over here. Whooshies. Uh, not much left to do until the second half of the game. It's honestly, um, the second half I'm a lot more worried about because that's when all the levels are really high. And, um, as of right now, like, it's kind of like we just started a Pokemon game, but we had a really OP Pokemon. But our team will not change the thing. So, our team's gonna be, like, on par with the kind of stuff we're gonna deal with on the other side. And I do have a horrible ground weakness. So, that's a thing. 
Um, and I have no real way to stop the ground except with my surfing Raichu, which it's a Raichu. Not the best for fighting those, but, uh, you don't belong here, get lost. Oh, okay. Now I think you actually go down, that's the train station. Is this the underground area? This, I don't remember. Is this the radio tower? Yeah, this is the radio tower. We don't want the radio tower. Yeah, music. Oh, it's so good. Oh, the music is so good. This is it. We wanted to go here. I think you do this first, because you have to actually be dressed up as a, a, a rocket to file. I don't know what kind of Pokemon we're going to be dealing with down here, but there are some. There are some trainers. Um, I think you have to do this to progress through the game. Got to recruit Dave from the radio tower mission that we ran out of uniforms here. The studio has some, so I decided to borrow one since your hero wants to change as well. And you just go along with this. Look at you, pretty good. Oh, but I uh, shouldn't try just scaring people while I'm walking around like that, okay? Oh yeah, we're gonna stay like this. There's actually nobody down here while Rocket takes over. Well, I mean, most of the stuff we can't take advantage of here anyway. And no entry beyond this point. Yeah, that's the exit of the Rocket place. Um, man, I was just thinking, like, you know what's so cool, like, in Dark Souls, where, like, there's no loading anywhere, and, like, you manage to, like, work your way so far, you fight, like, up through the undead parish, and then you get, like, an elevator, and it takes you back to where you started, and you're like, whoa! And it's, like, really cool, but, like, in Pokemon, you just, like, walk through a door, and they don't even have to line up, and they can just do whatever they want. Alright, so, I don't think you actually go to the game corner. Pretty sure you have to go up here. Because it's the game corner uh, poster that you move in the last game. This one, new. Can I talk to you? Well, I'm not allowed to talk to people in case they give me something. Which reminds me, I do need to, um, save. I would be their best recruit if they took me right now. Because even right, right now, I could probably take on... Actually, well, I, I most certainly could take on the final uh, Team Rocket leader. Because this is the last that you see of Rocket. Um... I'm pretty sure you don't see Rocket and Kanto at all when you do um, the second half of the game. Because Kanto, they've already done their thing. Go on ahead, alrighty. Hey Rocket, stop going around here, struggling people, you cowards. Uh oh. Does he fight us here? Just in case, I'm gonna film. I'm gonna keep it recording just in case he fights me. Oh, he's... Bomb stripped me. <laughs> You're no newcomer! Battle with me! So he... No, he wants us to battle with that guy. Maybe we're fine. Maybe I don't need this clip. We'll see. Hopefully I... I don't. But I'm gonna try and, uh... Murder his Raticate. Good, I have my Bullet Punch one out front. The Bullet Punch, now that I'm thinking about it, is actually a good move over, um... Metal Block. Because the speed priority... Basically having Quick Attack on... Metagross or a really slow Pokemon, that's just good, man. Got to send an Eradicate re-switch. Nope. Why would I do that when I just one-shotted your last one, Sunny? Meow. Sucker Punch, yeah. Use your brain. Well, you could use your brain by just saying, Alright, I quit. I quit. Pupitar. Alright, I got my Lava Turtle level 35. I just read that comment. I was like, Pupitar. That's all I saw. Pupitar. I love it to level 20 and only 20 more levels to go that you want. You're too powerful. You can spoil our plan. I've informed the others. I see. You were trying to be sneaky. Typical idea of the meek. No matter, I'll let you handle this. No, I'll have to defeat that dragon team. Let's name Lance. Every I'll be your turn. Be ready for it. Yeah, he's... He's actually scared of me right now. He's not even fighting us, so forget this clip. Alrighty. Did they not think 30s to 55 was excessive? Got my alarm... Alarm retard to level 35, like 20 more levels to go. Yeah, did they not think level 30 to 55 is excessive? Um, I think, uh, well, not really. I mean, that's the exact same that well, Dragonair is, so. I think that's fair. The only one that I honestly think is excessive is getting Hydreigon. That, that's just dumb. Isn't it like, it's a stupidly high level, I don't remember, but it's, like, and you have, like, the Dino forever, like, Dino evolves, like, 50, and then you, like, try and evolve the Dino into Swilus, that one's just, that's excessive, and then you finally get Swilus, and you have to turn it into Hydreigon, and it takes forever. <sighs> well, at least we're not wearing that uniform anymore. 
Why would they want to take away the radio tower? I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. I'm gonna check my um, XP at the end of this so we know like who needs to level up and what. Um, so 2,000 XP needs to go to elbow. Um, 2,000 also to ear. Only 800 to toenail. Um, Maximus is actually set to do walks. Gluteus, however, is not. So I would say Maximus can walk. Gluteus needs to level up. Hydreon is like 50 to 64. That's just messed up. You have the base... Well, I'm pretty sure it was 50. I'm pretty sure you have like... A stage 1 Pokemon at level 49, and that's natural. That's messed up. Burberry, Volcarona, Hydreon, Mandibuzz, Bisharp. Ah, oh, I did that and I cracked my own neck. Munchlax still doesn't have anything for us. What is up with that guy? I'm gonna save for like the third bajillionth time just to make darn sure that I have this here. Um, 22 hours in the game so far, and that's just in the game. I have no idea how many are on this. Well, basically, like, however many days I've been playing this times that. A lot of Gen 5 Pokemon have excessive evolution level levels. They do. I guess they were just trying to justify stronger Pokemon to, like, change their meta, but it was just a mess. Because before that, they did it with unnecessary evolutions, and ugh. Ugh. I missed the, three, the first three Gens, where it was just about, like, just design a new game. You know, stop worrying about the rest of that crap that nobody cares about. Anyway, I do have to get going. I'm going to be getting ready to go, um, uh, like I said, aquarium time with a baby. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to point out all the fishies, and hopefully I'll be able to hang these uh, later today. Like I said, I've also got a uh, an Absol, Shiny Absol, and um, uh, Shiny Rayquaza are also going to be hung. Um, maybe at one point I will be able to make some of these for you guys. I, I do really enjoy making these. This one actually didn't even take me too long. Um, I have made some really big ones. If you've seen, like, the Samuses that go behind my head, I'll probably, you know, I could probably just make a video if you guys are interested in it. Just a video just showing off all the Perlers that I've made so far. I am making a bunch more, too. I'm trying to make, um, the really hard one that I'm planning on is, uh, Solid Snake's codec image from the PlayStation 1's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, so it's, it's good. It's a big one, too. It's, it's, it's quite physically large. I can't quite hold the whole thing up here, but... Yeah, it's gonna be about that big. Um, but still, my, my Samus, that's up on the wall. Even if you're looking back here like this, it's it's bigger than that. So, <laughs> I've made some giant ones. Anyway, I've had a good time here. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, uh, Black Boy Records and Cameron French for joining in and chatting so much. I have a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and getting to play this. And especially do like the in-between parts like this, because otherwise I'm just doing, um, you know, all this offline. And I, I want to, I'm, I'm basically just playing this series like to get a chance to like sit down and like chat and just play a game with you guys anyway. So I'm glad that you're having fun and I'm glad that I'm still having fun. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next stream. Boop!